Like, we all was careful, you know? I yeah, totally. Like, <laughs> We're rich. I wish I had a yeah. thousand gold. I, I wish I had 10,000 gold. That'd be pretty sick. I could just, IRL. I could just crash the gold market again for like the 18th anyway, time in history. Perfect. We added, we added um, 3,000 gold to the estate. So the estate's pretty decently rich. All right, hold on. Uh, I, yeah, I can like actually give you really something for the start. Uh, oh. I'm going to give you the estate upkeep uh, permission. I'll give it to all players. You're the owner of it. You can now go to your journal section, which is the open book on the uh, on the on the menu to your top left, top right, where you can see all your tokens and stuff. The open book is your journal entry where I can give you stuff kind of similar to Roll Twenty, and you will see uh, that there is the Silver Thistle Estate Upkeep. Actually, um, what's the rarity of an augmented greater healing potion? Uh, augmented is greater that... healing potion. I... It... Yeah. They technically don't have ratings because I'm all using like custom things. Yeah, I know, but uh, if I learn how to make it, what rarity would you put it at? Uh, uncommon, rare. It would probably be uncommon. Okay, so that would also be two work weeks to make. Would Would you guys prefer a potion of fire resistance or a potion of grit, augmented heal, uh, greater healing, or I don't know, a potion of bless? What's that? Um, oh, that's rare. Okay, potion of wild magic, Emp. What's that rarity? <laughs> uh, you actually Mistake. cannot. You actually cannot make that unless you have a source of wild magic that you can. Oh, oh come yeah. on! Can't it be Personally, legendary? Fifty we weeks to make one, hundred k. Oh yeah, That's a lot of weeks. Um, uh, I please don't find make it the legendary item. Fifty work weeks and a hundred k. You going. have to have for for that. You have to have a source of active wild magic to make. Also, yeah. the, also the that's augmented greater healing potion will probably also be rare just because- Okay, so that's 10 work awesome. weeks, 2,000 gold. Hey, um, yeah. I can't find adding the, the, the estate thing. All right, so are you up at the top menu where you can see like the chat bubble, the three people, oh. the top right, the menu with all the, where you go see your tokens, where you see the combat initiative. The settings, top right. Um, I'm at I'm at my character sheet. Yeah. No. 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 So, so the base foundry where the chat is, right? Yeah. You see those buttons up at the top. Yeah. You see one that's like an open book. Oh. That, oh. Okay. I see it now. And then you should just be able to click that, and you should be able to edit it. Okay. You can add your funds. You can add your funds and general equipment there. I guess I can make one for your equipment as well, but you can just throw it in there. Whatever, whatever things you want to put towards the estate. But hello, hey, session sixteen. Up. Oh, we started already. Oh wait, we're starting. Yeah. <laughs> I've been oh, on. Shit. I've been unmuted for like. Oh. Thirty Why minutes. I didn't know <laughs> okay. We've been talking about potion economy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey. Yo, what's poppin'? What's up? It's Ocean. your boy. Ocean Economy. I love the economy. <laughs> okay, let's see what other potions you can make. Uh, let me open up the dock for this. Wait, what is this? Ah, oh, damn, that's rare. Ah. Uh... I'm meeting a titan. Tis unfortunate. Yeah, no, I, I, I remember. There's a potion of mind control, but sadly it's rare to do with the humanoid one. <laughs> but, friends, Probably for the better. it is time we begin <laughs> with session 16 of the Meeting of Titans. Would anyone like to give us a recap of what happened last time? Nah. Jack, how about you give us a recap? Uh, That's new recap, monkey. Alright, um, shit, bro, I, yo, I, I would be honest, like, before I arrived, I don't really remember what happened in that first that's, few minutes. That's, that's fine, that's fine, just keep going, just go from what you remember. I, uh, yeah, so something happened in the first few minutes, anyway, fuck all that shit, cool guy Takeshi, Dami Daichi arrives, and it's like, hey, yo, I got my boy Dash, and we got some of these other cool dudes, and we want in. And we start making this guy, Tanegawa Hiroki, uncomfortable. 
and then we start getting in. We all come in, big party. Hello, everyone does new introductions, bunch of new characters. Hello, hi there, what's up? And Daichi is like, hey, yo, boys, I got the deets, yo. <laughs> so he goes over and he's all he's full on WikiLeaks, just spitting out, giving papers. You know, he's got the receipts for the Crimson Phoenix. All right. Anyway, uh, after that, people are like, I don't trust this guy. But it doesn't matter. Big old airships arrive. Whoa, crazy. What's happening? Whoa, who knows? Uh, anyway, it's just some scientist dude and his his apprentice or whatever. He, he starts flirting it up with uh, Enna. He's like, hey, yo, we got these. We got airships. Hello. That that happens. Anyway, uh, Remy and Daichi are cooking food. There's some other conversations. Uh, Elian's like, hey, yo, there's this weirdo that wants to talk to you, Mior. Mior's like, okay. She talks with uh, Enna and uh, Ashi for a bit. They do their thing. Talks with some of the new people like, hey, yo, I'm the Daimyo. What's up? How's it going? And then uh, once again... We we come we convene to I I get uh I get interviewed I get interrogated by Elliot and Mior, and I'm like hey yo I got shit we you know to help you get in I'm a quote unquote traitor of the Crimson Phoenix quote unquote very true very factual, anyway, uh and then after that nothing happens in the night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nothing happens. Nothing, happen, strange, nothing. nothing strange happens. I don't sneak out and, and turn into a weird beetle man. Nothing happens. Oh, nothing. But why would you even say that? That's weird, Jack. Nothing happens. Yeah, nothing happens to. Nothing happens to. Anyway, yeah. I sneak out of the night and I talk with cool, cool beetle people, and then I go back. Mhm. Mm pretty, pretty sick, nasty. However, it is time. A week has passed as you guys continue to build up the daimyo. And you awaken on the final day. The day oh, where everything yeah. seems to be in an okay state. Where nothing is burning. People are somewhat okay. You've given them a little bit of a little bit of a direction. You guys converge almost like a meeting of titans perhaps atop of the uh, <laughs> atop the steps of the manor and the session starts okay all so right, we're not do right. we're not doing the upcoming days to just to finish Good up morning. what we actually did okay well we we could just we can just go over it now we don't need, we don't need to do we don't need to spend that much time on the on what happened. We could just kind of explain what happened uh, from those days. What you guys did in general. We could do like a recap. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, um, Mior and Wister, they both went doing doing the scout, mm -hmm. and they did the scout specifically for you know port cities or like an area where they could sort of make a port, uh, blast away the ships to stop the ships coming in from sinking. But they also keep some because it's also a natural habitat, you know, right? It's form and they want to be fishing. So they did that. They did that by, you know, just doing the flying. Maybe Wister did some like clairvoyance. She shifted some things around like gravity pulse or pulse wave. Was that, how many wedding was that then? Huh? Pulse wave and the gravity pulse. Uh, I mean, gravity sinkhole is like clear out pretty much everything in a decent area. Hmm? Yeah. And the Mario. pulse yeah. wave is more so like pushing it and pulling it. Erupting earth sort of shatters and breaks it apart. Hmm? Oh, yeah. yeah. And then use fabricate to set up like small little huts. Over the car, course of the day. Slash him. To just like make sure that there there is some sort of uh, not, there's some sort of resemblance for where mm -hmm. it start where where the daimyo is starting to set up their like port or whatever they want to call it. So, uh, you guys did some scouting of the general of the general land. the The soil here is very rocky, very shaly, almost like a, from volcano, the deposits of a volcano. Um, there wasn't really a, an ideal land to set up farms. It appears that this is the most ideal area where the daimyo is. But there is about 
a, a small there's a small area a couple of days to the south where you guys can set up a small camp and hopefully in time begin to establish a city that is connected to your daimyo it'll okay, take a question. long time mm -hmm. where erupting earth sort of just like causes the earth itself to like crush up and like sort of fly up would that be enough to like start clearing out areas to potentially put more or make it more viable for farming eventually by just like removing the rocky surface um the rocky and like top layer and get a little bit further down to die and get to like dirt eventually yeah it would take a it would take a, a, a concentrated effort but yes eventually with okay. enough with enough time spent on doing that you can begin to reveal this dirt underneath the uh the igneous rock look okay. at me yeah. using big geological terms like yes, igneous so rock nice job so Almost, yeah we yeah. will do that in some areas just to see where it would be like optimal like going to a certain place and be like okay let's test it here boom the, the, nah, mostly rock the island and that you're a part of which is generally the uh the island one of the islands to the east is generally very flat and very hilly and as i stated before the the, the beaches are made out of these black the black stone like a uh, more igneous rock yeah. there's a mountain range kind of in that's always in the skyline always in the horizon and there is a volcano that is perpetually spewing ash out from it okay but yeah hmm? so it is possible though it is possible but yes would liam and the other crew have came back by now uh yes actually i will get their tiles That means we have access to the ship, right? Yep. But there is currently no place to dock it other than at that, uh... Actually, probably a better thing. You sent Liam, Gorvich, and Ilyavar to protect that camp that you're setting up. I guess to make Sad, things, I make things easier. I also think I would have sent, like, some people with, like, letters, and I would have sent them to, like, the Mossy Isles or the Hard Oak mm -hmm. to, like, say, hey... Because uh, Mule is technically part of the Heart Oak family, like, hey, uh, come set up shop here, and to, like, the Mossy Isles, it's like, hey, um, this land is in need of, you know, the Meadowwalker's help, and it, it used to you flourish here. Sorry, Meadowwalker underground right now can't help. Because, uh, because yeah. you don't have access to the super quick pixies that Dr that uh, Lycus gave you, um, those will take a long time, just because the, uh, the... Oh. Just because the, the... The fast travel that they have isn't available. You have to use okay. either regular shipping routes, Phoenix riders, things like that. How long would it take? Oh man! Like when you uh, ask someone, what, what estimate would they give? <laughs> uh, they would give you if if you want to use the war balloon for it, that ashy, uh, the ash slash ashy have. It would take you a handful of weeks, but without that, like just trying to take ships to and from it'll probably take you around a month month and a half just because that kind of travel is hard and you don't have super fast pixies that can give you letters in two days <laughs> okay i'll wait for the pixies then i'll wait for the pixies <laughs> yep and the pixies are still currently on route also, can I make an inside check on uh, Daichi here as Rano, since he's a different character and has his own opinion on stuff? Sure. He's mostly just like, why is this old man pretending to be a young guy? Mm -hmm. Give me an inside if check. He's over a, if he's over 100, he's an old man. I don't know how old Daichi actually is, but if he's under 100, this young elf considers you old. Daichi's just sitting there making some origami. I mean, he doesn't have that good an insight, so probably be like the same. It's just like, wow, he's weird for an old guy. Oh no, <laughs> Rano actually knows. Okay. He knows a lot. This guy appears to have more than he's letting on. You're not sure, and you can't really put the finger the finger on it. You can't like put a finger on why he acts different, but he acts different than the normal Phoenix people you've seen so far, of the yeah. small okay. sample size that you have. Yeah, and there's also an old man pretending to be a young guy. What a weird yeah, that's guy. also kind of weird. <laughs> All right, but the but the the other the three the four of you, 
that are that haven't been doing kind of expansion things what have you been doing during this week of downtime uh so elian has been helping uh what's her name ada that one Anna. Anna. Anna, that one the uh, uh, he's been helping them like get things set up like he mentioned last session um other than that he's pretty much just been keeping an eye on daichi just making sure nothing is sketch uh was it would he have noticed anything that would have been suspicious or strange no he's not like what he's not like watching him sleep or anything he's just you know making sure he's not not nothing out of the ordinary off on his own during the day yeah he's he's actually a big help he's helping a lot around the settlement keeping things moving he's keeping the uh the un the unpleasant civilians in line good to know which right. there are quite a lot of you are still in the you are still in the phoenix there are quite a lot of entitled people let's just say mm. remy then, Kazuki. Yeah. oh, oh remy did, did you have anything else literally... yeah I was, I was just saying he would just be helping um and uh get like the finances and stuff organized and in order and making sure everything is good to go for them to leave well, all right once a day whenever he's available remy would be training with kazuki but after that they'd just be making food Helping out on the farms wherever they can, and then drinking a shit ton of tea. That's all they do. And all right. I'm How about you low on tea? Left, yeah. We're running low on tea, guys. <laughs> How much tea do we have left? You have about a barrel left. <laughs> oh no, it's only like Rem two days left. And Rem is like, oh my god, we don't have enough. <laughs> tea, tea is a very big luxury. So. And Remy's drinking a lot of it. <laughs> uh, at the at the end of the seven days, um, the blacksmith Asato will give you your shield. Oh. Um, it is a shield that has the crest of the law light inscribed into it, making it your yes. mag making it your magical focus. Oh fuck yeah! So you can cast shield, uh, you can cast spells from it, but you can also use it as a melee weapon. It'll deal, it'll deal a d6 of damage and you can use your dexterity with it. Yes, perfect. It's a finesse shield. <laughs> yes. Listen, Remy needs it. <laughs> yes. They only have one arm. <laughs> yes, they do. Well, at least I can cast some spells now that requires material. And verbal. Somatic's still hard. Yeah, somatic's always going to be rough, but at least you could just attach it to your forearm and use your fingers to do something. No, that's not. Yeah, that's not how somatics work. <laughs> that's why I need war cast. <laughs> yep. Well, so I, I asked him, hey, would it be a good idea do for you, me to switch out resilient for war caster? And he said, no, nah, it's do you, fine. Do you want to switch? I honestly like the proficiency and con saves, so no. I'd like to keep resilient. Because that proficiency in con saves has saved my ass quite a few oh, times you don't in want combat. Advan you don't want advantage on concentration I, checks? Okay. That would work well, but I feel like it's a little too late to change it at the moment. Yeah. Also, probably. if it's if it's being a, treated as a weapon, then maybe it can be equipped and unequipped as a f object interaction as well, maybe, yeah. possibly. Yeah. There we go. And I'll and let you. Fine. I'll let you attach it to like your forearm as well. So if you want, you can use, you can use your other. You can use your only hand you have left for yeah. shit. Uh, also, because it's because it's a magical focus, it's considered a plus one weapon. Oh fuck yeah! Damn, a plus one <laughs> shield. Uh, what what name? No no no, not a plus one shield, but a, a plus a plus one weapon. Is it also a plus one spell casting focus? No. no. Ah, uh, can you just, imagine the plus one shield, plus one weapon? <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's everything plus one. Yeah, it's it's just because it's imbued with magic that it makes it more. It makes it better to hit. Do you, do you want a name for it? He would he would allow you to have a custom uh, name. Uh, I don't have any ideas at the call moment. It a, call it a call it the surfboard. I'm sure you're going to no. like that. <laughs> it's pretty. I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a name later. 
because I, I I cannot think of one on the spot. Aim at shield dash lion. I'm gonna fly to England. <laughs> and... <laughs> Can I put this real quick? Wow, good rolls, Remy. Already starting off great. Oh wait, I... it takes practice. I think you it's... have to add my smite to it. Yeah. Uh, 2d8 radiant. It might be easier to just uh, I would recommend. I would recommend not attaching smites or weapons just to tell that, you know, like make it a different button because then you can't like afterwards say, oh yeah, I want to smite after you've seen the damage yeah. that you're going to roll. It's like, it's like sneak attack. I have that separated. Yeah. Uh, fair. That's what I would prefer right. to do that to have beyond. That's what I didn't like about Salafax thing. I had to, I basically always preemptively said if I don't crit, I don't smite. What did Kazaki do during the week downtime? Uh, what do you think Kazaki did? Train. I think. Did you guess train and do do petty tasks that we all asked? If the answer was yes, then you're right. Kazaki, when Mior told uh, told me that you needed to lift that rock and put it in that spot instead. Right, that's good enough. Okay. I'll do oh. Okay, oh I'll do wait, that. wait. She just told me with her sending spell that she wanted it over there instead. Okay, it's good training anyway. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Uh, delay that order. Nope. Uh, she wanted it over there. Oh, God. Rist is such a little shit. Eventually, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, they are. Eventually, tell he will just crush Rist. Rock, rocks will fall and Rista will die. L good thing I can have its weight. <laughs> oh, God, Remy, please. Good work, Remy. I'm sh You're sure I've oh. taken these lessons well? Oh, I remembered another <gasps> thing. I can add critical threshold to items now. You sure can. Oh, that's Ooh. sick. Um, I remember. So you uh, can just do that to the entirety of Thalar's everything. So yeah. at 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 some point during downtime, uh, Elian will think on the whole like need to cut off Big Amber guy's connection and his senses and stuff. Um, would he put? two and two together and realize that that's like a literal thing and he should probably cover his eye intelligence check <laughs> oh good oh, no. uh, advantage <laughs> and you can add a d6 to this you can add a d6 okay add with d6. advantage yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, this yeah. is this is your last <laughs> oh, 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 add a d6 we can get above 10 sure let's go Hey, was, hey did Ravana happen to be there? She could force you to re-roll by rewriting history. Oh wait, she wasn't. She was you busy. rolled the one right. I was being sarcastic. Yeah, it's, maybe, uh, maybe. Beautiful, beautiful, I, I mean, beautiful. I mean, you can cover your eyes, but that ruins your vision, right? So why would you do that? Yeah, you don't have, yeah. you don't have big, you don't have big person there, You don't have hey, twenty twenty vision. I mean, Cool eye patch? Do you want it? Nah, bruh. I I need to see. God damn it! The enemy's gonna see us coming, and we're gonna get <laughs> fucking KO'd. Well, uh, so he's he's already thinking about like covering it for the sake of you know people not seeing it. So <laughs> he'll he'll get an eye patch, and he'll have that for specifically only when they're traveling. Yeah. Um, but it'll be coming off during combat. Alrighty. Good. Uh, he, he he has a big one on the entire side of his face okay. to cover the scars because the scars did Elian... are also amber. Ah, it's fine. Just the did eye. Elian Just... request one from Rista? Or not? Uh, probably. Okay. Then be like, uh, sure. I mean, it's just. It's just a powerful spell. I can build anything. Here you go. Ten minutes. You have an eye patch. Thanks. Choose your design. <laughs> and on cool. the final day, it'll be like a. Wait, over. there's one boy we skipped. What's what Daishi doing? Oh, yeah. Hello. Nothing I, did, I didn't know apparently. I didn't know if you wanted to do anything too poignant. Uh I mean I'll just go over what he did during the He's week just being again. casually poured okay, in okay. the water, that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh as Emp said, during the week Daichi would be very helpful. With the uh, refugees and various people coming in, he would try to help any way he can. These people have lost a lot. They've lost their home, so he would try to keep the morale up. He would show them how to do simple things like origami and various ther therapeutic uh, talents to just pass the time and keep morale up. And even when people would be rude to him or entitled, he would stay firm with his smile and show kindness. But what a kind the, man! <laughs> during the night, he would wait for everyone to go to bed and once again sneak out every night. 
to continue his his uh, martial arts training in the forest. Motherfucker doesn't sleep. Yeah. Okay. I gotta. Well, I do. I only I, need four hours to trance my guy. That's yeah, true. Yeah. I, I do gotta. At like, at some point during the week, because I, Elian also doesn't sleep, and I guess neither does Rista. Or me or tag out. Well, I guess or me or. Like half our party doesn't sleep. Would right? would would at any point totally just Remy and Elian have uh, noticed Daichi trying to sneak I'll out? I'll give you bit? one. Well, I get. Well, well, okay, I guess the main question is, does Daichi sleep in the manor with us? No, I, I sleep in a okay. shack. Okay, so never mind then. Okay. Yeah, never mind then. <laughs> okay, phew. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot that detail. He's not officially part of the party yet. Yeah, he sleeps in one okay. of the shacks Rista set up. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, he's just, you know, been watching and observing. However, oh, you know, we're just getting watching. the staring contest, observing each other. I like other. this guy. Cool. Cool. Last question I get about potion yeah. sap. How many... <laughs> How many regular healing potions would I have a time to make? Uh, that depends. Do you want to make your? Do you want to make a an uncommon I potion? Uh, not really. I basically these will be just you know regular small mm -hmm. little potions. I'll let you make three of them. Okay, so I'll add three of them. Uh, Mior, I need a little bit more money to make healing <laughs> potions. Mior, I need money, the please. 25 gold each. <laughs> Damn, How this many? kid's expensive. What the fuck? <laughs> three. Really? I can make like three, probably. <laughs> uh, and the fire resistance potion, of course. That's still brewing. You know, that money could go to a lot of good here with the people. <sighs> okay, well, if you don't oh, want the potions of healing, okay. No, here you go, here you go. Need to stay alive, Mior. <laughs> yeah, so they're just like, okay, thank you. And they're gonna make the potions. Uh, they'll just spread them out a little bit. The, whoever, Who like, who, uh, Elian needs probably two because he's fast and can just run I, around. Again. I already so, have an augmented lesser healing potion. refuses to have healing potions on his character. Not that I refuse, it's character. just I will definitely forget about them. Okay, how about I give you two of the like daily ones i can just make that go away after 24 hours that's probably a good call okay so i'll just give you two of those i'll remove two of those and just continuously give give alien those two of those why would you want to take the air balloon why would you want to take the airship the airship is a valuable commodity why would you want to use why would you want to lose it i why would you want to bring the air balloon it's slow and inefficient what the fuck's wrong with you, old men? Would you rather... And as the two of them continue, are they, they don't realize that they kind of walked as they talked. Oh. Hey, uh, Shit. it's... It's like eight in the morning. So Just, this, you know... This old... This old bat wants to take the airship to the heart of Adala. And this young whippersnapper wants to take the hot air balloon to uh, the heart of Adala. Do you not understand how slow that would be? Evaki, what are you doing? Just standing here. Menacingly. Oh, <laughs> uh, Ten minutes menacingly. Question: uh, what, Is this for you, or is this in general? Oh, I forgot where we left off on that. Oh, we it's, were we were we both we we talked to Mior about it. Uh, or, or Miss Daimio. Miss Daimio wants us to, or wants one of us to go to the heart of Adala. I offered, as she. Ash didn't. He rolls his eyes. Yeah, because you, you, you fucker. Shut the fuck up. They said we'd convene and talk with, you know, the rest of the party on whether we want to take the airship and where we wanted to be piloted by Ashy or Ash. Oh. Oh. Mm. Really? We're going to fly there? Let me think. I mean, it's, we need. It's times of the essence, right? It's, it's the best if we fly. Uh, having a ship in especially this kind of climate might not be the best. I would rather mm -hmm. your ship not be burned by ash or smoke or fire. Isn't and if we walk there, then we'd have to encounter a lot of bands of zealots, a lot of bands of crimsons, and it would be a war zone. Also, a lot, of, a lot of swimming, because islands. Just yeah. uh, remind me... Um... Just what is what's what's your standing within 
the phoenix slash if we fly in a balloon with that emblem on it are we just going to get exploded from the sky oh, uh i scrubbed the emblem off oh a... will we get exploded from the sky for flying an airship without an emblem probably shouldn't we'll be too uh, he, he kind of like kind of like does like a, i don't know motion uh airships That's reassuring. Air, airships airships have the ability to over to updraft into higher elevations than hot air balloons so we should be able to be hidden So the airship's fine, but what about the hot air balloon? You said you wanted well, to take that instead? The hot air balloon... My, my thing with the hot air balloon is that if the hot air balloon crashes, whoop de fucking do We could just make another one, right? Right? It doesn't matter. I mean, I could fix it in like an hour probably. Right? But if, it, if, it, if the airship crashes, we're all dead. We're all so dead and it cannot... Stop that too. Arguable. I could probably and... stop that too. Can the air can the hot air balloon hold seven people plus two rabbits? Uh, can it also hold the rabbits? the rabbits? We don't need to bring the rabbits, though, right? We oh, absolutely pancakes do. coming. Pancakes coming. I Henry wants to man called pancakes. George who could look after the rabbits for you. No, I want to. I'm bringing pancakes. Which is fine. And Henry is coming with us. He misses the The rabbits. <laughs> the rabbits don't need to go. I think also, we can. It's, it's not a matter right. of need. It's a matter of they are. Pancake's uh, coming with me no matter what. He's my little friend. He's he, not. Where, where are we going to set with Henry then? He pinches the bridge of his nose. And Henry doesn't like being away from Pancake because he misses Doe. Hey man, you offer. But in general. Look look at him, how cute he is. It'd be uncomfortable. We and could we'd just have leave to... the child and the rabbits here. We'd have to stop. Oh. Oh, who's gonna fix you up if you're a member of this team? I, I also think I'd like to take Ripjaw. I don't. I don't think you. I don't know if you've noticed yet, Kazuki, but Rista is the voice of reason within our party. Um, I'm not letting that thing on my airship. What? What? what Jaws? No. Nice. I'm not a child. I'm not I, letting that I thing think... on my airship. Wait, didn't you say it's Mior's airship? Since you sort of pledged I'm, to help her. I'm not letting that thing on my airship. It's not so, your airship, though. It's Mior's airship. Yeah, but you again. To help her. As In the... a way, I also don't think we should bring Ripshaw here, considering didn't Doe parade around yeah, with it? Yeah, yes, which is why Ripshaw should be on an airship as, instead of near the estate. As the pilot, I'm not bringing that thing on the airship. Also, do we, has any, do we, does Ripshaw even listen to any of us uh, anyway? I don't think it does. I don't listen think that thing will fit on the Just... airship. Um, or, does uh, Ripshaw... Um, no. Um, listen to us. No. He only no. listens to Not a chance. Doe. <laughs> it's a wild animal that Doe, like, trained. No, I raised him. Well, raised, yeah. Doe. But he not really Doe specifically. From, um, from we need to do something about it. We can't have it near the estate. Uh, just, sure we just can. Just throw a tarp on him. Sure we can. Just put it down if it gets too rowdy. That's not allowed. I mean, it's an option. <laughs> Kind of shrug. Not so viable one. I don't see why not. If an animal's rowdy, you put it down. Well, you have fun with this. I'm going to do training until you're ready. I, I put Tanago in charge of Ripjaw anyway. Oh. Okay, but so... And now we need to decide. We take... I think we should take the airship. Because... Yeah. You know, if like an air the... airship goes down, we don't have another one. But I can repair it if there's damage. And... It'll like get us there quicker, it. and also, um, it's probably less likely to be shot down than the war balloon. Yeah, sure. Safety, uh, safety, notters, and notters, speed. Our priority, right now, right? So. Also, I'd like to not be crammed in the same small basket. See? With I told you people. they wouldn't want to do the, the hot air balloon. Good. I you thought fucking I even carry don't. Kazuki. Oh, uh, he of us combined. Where the fuck did he go? He left. He's training. training. I, I mean, I, looking at the size of him, I don't think anything can. Ew. I mean, I can shrink him if you want, but it only <laughs> lasts for so long. Hey guys, do you want to leave Kazuki here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we don't trust character. you with our stay. Merlin character number eight incoming. Art by Riggi again. 
Hey, it's me. Hey, guys, it's me, Robo. Hey, it's I'm me, no, Robo. No, shut the fuck up. I've come from the stories. Shut up. I could also just, you know, have his weight across, if it's too heavy to carry him. Oh, he, uh, he's too heavy On the to airship, carry it should be fine. There are technologies okay. that make you lighter for those kinds hmm? of situations. Oh, I've actually been on an airship before, so I can guide you all through it, I'm sh as I'm sure can Ashy or Ash. Not gonna lie, oh, yeah. I'm surprised the only you guys can do do these high altitudes. It's kind of like he's a Goliath, that's what he can do. It literally is part of his race that he's good at high altitudes. Uh, Rano yeah. can fly and probably has flown at those heights. Continuously. He was beaten for us some shit. <laughs> don't fly any higher than like a couple of thousand meters at most. It's it's something mm -hmm. that people with this with the fly spell genuinely get adjusted generally get adjusted to just because of Ronald's, how much they do it. Ronald's also like a, a space baby. Yeah, he's also a space person, so why wouldn't would that be enough pressure to do? Isn't, you could go to space if you wanted. He's to. one step away from astronaut. Yeah, he's like I I'm gonna do, go to space, guys. You deal with this Earth stuff. They become bye. Russian space marine. So what What's we need to on? ask is, would you want Ashy to pilot the airship, or would you want Ash? Do you want the more experienced pilot or the one that will crash you into the ground? Not like Ash. Wow. What do you smile? <laughs> Ash she seems to be fairly confident in what he can do with it. Which one of you is going to be the least annoying? Um, <laughs> they both say, oh, me, of course. Then they look at each wow. other. No, I'll be the least. Just... No, I'll be the least. No, I'll be the least annoying, you old man. No, <laughs> I'll be the so least annoying. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ellie just, what kind of, think? Ellie just leans over to Mior and is just like, there's really no other pilots. Uh, Takeshi, what do you options? think? Daichi. Uh, Daichi. Don't know that name. <laughs> don't know that name. If it's on your title, that's how you know your character name. Sorry. Oh, I'll change it. He's just, uh, he's just been giggling as he watches. What, what do you think, Daichi? Hey, Remy, by, by the way, let me hold your He's gonna, he's gonna you. go in front of them. What'd you say? Which one of you are more confident that you can fly that airship through unnoticed? They both raise their hand. <sighs> Don't be so self-centered. Tell me, who has, who is the more, oh, what the fuck? I just, I, 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 I just, I, hold on, I just changed your name. I just changed your name. <laughs> Everything's okay. Be honest with yourselves. Look inward. Who is going to pilot that ship? Ooh. I'll roll. Whoever rolls higher will be more confident. They both roll 100. They're both extremely confident. They both roll the same. Ash, I like you, Ash. Please. Ash, catch him and pilot him. Uh oh. Ash. Roll higher than yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, my boy. Ash actually raises, raises his hand. I, I'm exper I'm inexperienced with piloting an airship, but I believe I could do it. Fuck sake. I'll fit right in. Daichi turns around to look at Mior. There is your answer. Yo, wait! No! No! I, 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 okay. Lose you lose, old man. Actually, you know, if you go with us, you won't have time with Ina. Wait, was that? Oh shit, you right. I mean, I was so <sighs> Is there also a problem where we can't bring both? You so bring both a good can point. Pilots? It'll allow me to oh. experiment on that lizard. Hmm. Rista, do you oh. want to be on a ship with both of these two at the same time? Based do on I hear this the entire interaction? On that lizard part? I mean, Ash. I can just polymorph one of them to be a, like a snail for I a leave this hours. up to you. <laughs> my, my grand I, sacrifice, my Ash. I'm smiting. <laughs> Well, let my me make it a session check for you. Ash, this is my grand sacrifice to you. I will allow you to wow. pilot this thing. Utter shit, yeah, you I heard it. Say. Remy immediately walks up to him with their shield in their hand. Hello. You are not oh. to touch that lizard. Yes, you just swear yes, into yes ma'am. Not a ma'am. Wow, get wrecked. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Good work, Ashley. Move, moves Mage Hand following Remy to give her her tea again, hitting them their tea Thank again. You. Yeah, I completely forget. We'll, we'll stab he's... him. We'll, we'll, we'll stab him when we get back. Look, look, look. He's a good I might man. Him. He's a good man. He just 
and he's just <clears throat> he's old uh, Did he? there's there's no excuses you could tell me if he touches or if jaw i'm smiting him i mean kids on my right I mean, week. it is just a lizard like truth be told I'm sorry, I'm sorry how long have we known you by the way i just i i want to I do just want to know we, where you think you, your place is telling us who our party members are and aren't important. Do you put more value in a lizard than in a human? Uh, a lizard that was raised by one of my closest friends as opposed to some random person? Yeah, a little bit. One who killed enti- an entire village? Well, he was all dead too. We've been over uh, this Some already. animals don't realize what they're doing. I'm, I can... Some people. Listen, listen. listen. <laughs> I can swim and most of this party can fly. We do not need the ride. It'd just be really convenient for us. So if you could just like stop talking shit at us for uh, five minutes, we can get moving on this. Oh boy. We can do this diplomatic look. I we both we care about Ripjaw, okay? It's he's like a pet to us and I also don't approve of just wanting an experiment because that can if that can then lead to other things, right? I don't care about if I don't care about the lizard, I might not care about other things. It's a matter of just importance. We don't want experiments in here. That's not what we're about. So I'm sorry, but let's just move on, all right? Mm. Now, Ash, what do you know about piloting an airship? It's complicated. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it's something that I can do. Mm-hmm. Now, what can you tell us about being a crew member of the crew on an airship? Because I know it's uh, there's a lot of things you have to keep up for, especially the balance. Ah, uh, the big thing is just making sure the uh, the Terran gems aren't damaged. The Terran gems are the things that circulate the clouds around the airship and keep it light. If those get damaged, then we'll most likely begin to lose altitude. Also, uh, rapidly gaining altitude can hurt a lot if you're not experienced with it. And I'm talking rapid. Uh, updrafts are very fast. I'm fine then. Um, also, he kind of like thinks. Oh, wait, I forgot to ask the professor about something. Come here, too. Just be careful to not fall off the edge. If you fall from that height, you'll die. Yeah. I can probably pick them up if they fall. Don't worry. <laughs> also, well, I can. I can. You underestimate how bit. fast people fall it's... when they fall. Yeah. If they're gone, you're not going to be adding anywhere near um, and he reacts. No, she says not to worry, Alien, but don't do it. <laughs> God, these kids can't take a fucking joke. I'm sure we'll be fine. It happens, it happens. I mention experimenting on a fucking lizard and... This bitch... <sighs> Grr. <laughs> Grr, indeed. I just smolder from them sometimes. I smolder a lot too. Hello, young child. Uh, sorry, I was just wondering. He, uh, he notices yeah. before you even pull on his cloth. Okay. Okay, no, I was just wondering. Uh, I need some. Po- I need a power source for the portal in there. Do you know where one can mm. procure one? Like an elemental gem or something? I'll see if I can go through my contacts to get you a gem. That could okay. be a power source. Didn't I give Wister an elemental gem? Not the kind we need, I think? I gave you an element of gem of acid. Would that work, him? You no. You'd need more than that. This is uh, <laughs> a bottle of this, acid in our living room. <laughs> this is this, this is something. This is something that would require a lot of a lot of uh, juice. Yeah. Okay. I need a couple. And Enos, I, I'll show you know how to properly set it up before we leave. Uh, but if she fucks it up, she might cause the mansion to implode on itself. Uh, cause she was sort of making the runes to do that instead of teleporting. 
So I, it, uh, if you don't trust her to do that, just wait till I'm back, because I think I figured out how to make it work. But if you trust her to do it, then she should know how to do it. I'm sure the two of us could manage. Okay, are you magically inclined? Yes, I'm an accomplished okay. wizard. Okay, good, good. Then you should know how to do this then. Yes. Okay. You have then, a teleportation the... circle? Uh, well, we made one inside. Interesting. Uh, yes, very interesting, interesting. Uh, and I think we set it up. Actually, I know because Teach used to make ones, or he made one, and then he sh made one every day. Mm. Multiple places, because he was bored, I think. Has it been set up yet? The one in here? Uh, yes. Kind of, but we need to do it sort of daily, so it's sort of just an empty shell currently. He ponders. So that's why we need the power source, so we don't need to do it for, you know, I believe it's a full year you need, normally need to do the casting, but if you have the power source, uh, you don't need the full year. I will get you a power source as soon as possible. It'll okay, probably be while you're, while you're on route to the, uh, the heart of Adala. Yeah. Uh, also, try and figure out, uh, help me now with the barrier. Because mm -hmm. we need that, because it's way too easy to just fly in here. That is it, gee. Okay, Ooh. that was it. Blech. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> she just sort of blinks away. Kind of coughs. Blech. Teleports. Fucking ash got stuck in my throat. Oh, a per a not the person. Not the person. Oh god. <laughs> I've been to say. <laughs> not the no. <laughs> oh no. I, no, no. You know what your relationship with both of you. You know, I don't know why <laughs> my son would name our grandson Ash. I think he did it to spite me. I think he's naming him after you, but like, you know kind of nicely yeah well he'll never live up to my standards oh you might be surprised i mean as long as you as long as you can do your best that's all you can do isn't it that's how, that's how raising kids works you just do what you can and then it's on them well my son was always hot-headed he lost his 10th verge life in a uh, quick time Ah, uh, quick time at once, yeah, and those he's will kill you a lot. He's ascended already. Or ascended to the dream realm. Or, I don't even know if Phoenix go there anymore. Ass. Ah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure wherever he is, he's happy. You actually see through his, like, usually stoic demeanor, like, he kind of looks a little bit sullen. Like, the first bit of emotion he's actually shown. I'm sure you did all you could, Ashi. Well, we will be, uh... I try. We'll be hoping we'll be, uh, leaving this place to you to look after, I suppose. Uh, please leave it. Keep it in a place that we can come back to. He nods. You're the only person I seemingly have I have a connection with here. Don't let You're them. Not far off the only person I have a connection with theory. Don't let these new generation wussies get you down, bro. Different way of doing things. They're these they have a very they don't you know just oh there's a thing over there we need to beat up uh, let's go you know and beat it up they're like oh we need to do this planning and then there's this guy who's got fire amber powers and he has shooting lightning over there and we need to deal with him first. Oh, they don't, they don't run at the problem like these. I miss the old days where I could just buff myself up and grapple the enemy until they died. Yes. Now there's something about being the most armored or most quick person ever. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you break their legs, they're not fast anymore. That is true. I remember crushing someone's legs straight off. <laughs> My glory days. Now I'm old. Uh, <laughs> Ash. As he takes a cigarette, well, lights it under his finger and begins to smoke. Fucking no wonder you're coughing up Ash. He's Ashy. Hey, of course. Have a good one, Ashy. You too, Kazuki. All right. As... Oh, yeah. Um, how was the progress in trying to teach uh, Ristal uh, the sending spell? Still gonna take some time. Okay. How's Mior's learning how to do Arcana properly going? 
<laughs> Due to Mior's stubbornness, she's getting there, but there's still some key elements that are like really subtle that she's missing. Like the whole, okay. like using materials, getting all of that. It's kind of like making her a little confused compared to when she could just do spells. Okay, just making sure. The sun mm -hmm. begins to dim. Something begins to come up around the horizon. Oh no. Unless it's the airship, then. Fred Wilson. Yep, I have. Uh oh. Who sees it? Who sees it first? Uh oh. Who has the highest passive perception? Oh, uh, I think that's not me. <laughs> Uh, too bad for Von Ice and Tear. Rano has way worse for a specific I have, perception. Uh, I have 14. 13. Uh, uh, oh, wait. 15. 15 with Rano. Damn. Would have 17 if Ravano was here, but oh well. It's my passive perception. It's just perception modifier plus 10. Oh, yeah. Oh, what was that? Uh, uh, so, uh, 17. <laughs> okay. 17 <laughs> is the highest. You see something that begins to blur the concept of the sun as it begins oh. to soar across the horizon. This is what you see. And it is coming straight for the manor. Uh. Oh, fuck! Uh. Oh, uh. fuck! It's just a Why? phoenix. It's the Crimson Phoenix! Ugh. Why am I on the wall? Why did I go to the front gate? John, John Crimson Phoenix himself is here? It's okay, it's okay. We got Janiko here. Yeah, he'll stop it. He'll t ask it, what are you doing here? Please. <laughs> Make it to the cave. I need to search you. State At your what business. What point does Remy see it? Because they're just vibing by the gate. You hear a. <laughs> as it flies over what? the gate. Oh, oh dear lord! Hey, Anna, how about those defenses? Wait a second, I'm looking! It lands in... Does it look hostile? No. It lands... Okay. It lands in the rice field. And oh, burns... Man, man, and burns the surrounding oh, co uh, crops the... next to it. And, There's a hole! Can I, and hopping, can I control flames? Hopping... Try and stop it. No, not on this creature. And hopping off... Hole. And hopping off the phoenix you feel an overwhelming aura of power. Oh, fuck. Go away, Gabrella. No. Even <gasps> worse. Huh. Nietzsche? This is Nietzsche. Oh, okay. It's Nietzsche! Where's hey. Yolo? Get him in here. <laughs> you know what? I forgot my stuff in the other room. I'm gonna just walk off and Can get I that. initiative? Because I just want Nietzsche. <laughs> Can I, oh, can, can, can I hold? Remy's gonna come smite you if you do that. <laughs> can I hold person Kasuki? <laughs> hey, he's in range. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. Yolo, you were about to start combat for a few. You shouldn't have come here. You shouldn't have come here. <laughs> oh no. Hello, Silver Flame. Oh, I have to reload, okay? I have to reload. Do you have to burn the rice fields? I... I've come to talk. <sighs> then... Like Kazuki? Meal's just gonna grab Kazuki's arm. Nothing left. Hey. Oh, hello. Okay. How strong is this guy's magical aura for somebody who is sensitive to magical energies? On a scale of 1 to 10, 15, maybe 20. Okay, he's gonna just, you know... Huh, neat. I'ma just... just go not away. be able to remotely... I'ma just, gonna... <laughs> I'm just dimension door 400 feet away, the if Phoenix, that's okay. The Phoenix kind of, like, stands... or Not necessarily stands, but lays down next to Nishi, kind of curling, oh, curling around him. I mean, Remy's just whole, staring at the phoenix. It's like a whole stone, like empty lot, like a hundred feet that way. Could you? And I have to walk to the wall. You have to. Thank you, friend. As he just turns to the phoenix. Now, what are you all doing on my islands? Well, I believe we should talk about that in my daimyo. You are an honored guest. Please, 
Come in, and if you can, keep your phoenix from burning your corpse. On a death, indeed. The phoenix does as it pleases. I have no control uh, over it. Can it please somewhere else? That's for it to decide. Now, right. I'd like you to house. answer quickly. What are you doing here? Uh, it's our house. Empress Kiyang made me a Damia. Hmm. Uh, if you please. No. <laughs> what yeah. is a member of the Bastion doing here? Not killing the citizens. I protect them. I haven't really talked with Al about the war yet. He's kind of um, ghosted me. But we plan to, to go talk to him about it. And we'll do what I can to protect the citizens there. The citizens Ooh. of Phoenicius. It's my priority. Ooh. What? I thought this is a phoenix on Al. Owl. Phoenix? Max. Crimson no. Owl. Attack? Hmm? We will find him eventually, friend. Not yet. Kazuki, hey, um, no. can I look at Nishi with my blind sight? Uh, as what? you do, you realize he's not there, but he's everywhere. His aura is so frightening and empowering that it is all encompassing around your vision. In my the feeling of fire, the feeling of fear, the feeling of power, overwhelming. He's gotten he, incredibly stronger. He takes a moment to look around. Is there any other Phoenicians except Kazuki and Mior here? Give me a pres- uh, give me Do you have do you, do you have your old do you well, have your old character sheet? Yeah. Give me a perception check. Okay. Hey Daichi. Are you are you hiding? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's why I'm in a bush. <laughs> yeah, give me a give me a stealth check. Oh, that's it's, that's not that's it's not slash, hard. slash slash roll okay. 1d20 plus 4. And give oh, me a right. stealth check. There you go. Uh, I got to reopen it. I got to reload. Come on. Daichi, please. You should have I, I, I'm, I'm not I'm not trying oh, to um, notice wait, wait, Daichi. Daichi, I, you can edit 6. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not trying to notice Daichi. I'm just, I'm just saying. Use the last one. Hold on. Well, what's I, up, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out that her statement of that she's protecting the citizens is truthful by their being the citizens like here. It is. You can sense um, that all around you are Phoenician citizens here working, happy. A lot of them <laughs> stare at you in like a little bit of disbelief, but also in awe as many of them begin to kneel. I guess I'll hear you out for now. So, you're protecting my civilians? As is my duty as a Damia. And, you know, common decency. Okay. That gives me one reason not to kill you yet. Oh, you, 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 you clearly hear that, Yolo. If you are going to speak, little thing, speak with your chest and scream it to the world. Let's see, how long does whole person work again? Oh, it works for I you. have been ordered not to attack people by me or. And to keep myself to myself whenever possible, so Thank I will. You. you are nothing. Now, little birdie that is in front of me, did you know 
about your weakling master's decision to kill my civilians. Not at all, and if I had, I would have talked him out of it. I tried to. He's very angry, and um, this is more about retribution for his lost life. You can see that he's like just standing there, thinking at this point. Not nothing. Um, sir, if I may, the white fables don't belong to me. They belong to the people here, the Phoenicians. Could you please go somewhere else so you're not ruining our food supply? Small just off in the distance. Italian. Where? Kill. What? Of the... And they Wolves. fly the enemy's colors. <laughs> Wolves. Oh no. If that is what you wish, you can go ahead. <laughs> Wait, oh no, the wolves. Oh no. I feel bad for Joel. Be safe, friend. I feel bad for the zealots. And flies zealots. off in a blink of light. We should, uh, I'd like, uh, just to make you aware, we do have a small encampment towards the outskirts of the island more. Uh, they are also part of this settlement. So please don't burn them to the ground. Hmm. I wouldn't do such a thing to my people. Now, what the hell has been happening? <laughs> Anyone seem to know? Not in the fucking slightest. <laughs> well, it depends on what you mean by that. We've... We were caught in a time loop, which is why I apparently didn't hear the orders. Okay. These folk didn't even know you were the Fire Lord until I told them. You didn't say that at the meeting. We've, ever, we've basically went to the meeting, traveled here, that's all we've done. And accidentally or to, accidentally lead ourselves into this manner. Hmm. So is, that... Is Mr. Firelook? Yes. I believe they Just... are unaware of the current conflict with the Bastion. At least, when they got here, they were unaware. Hmm. Did we see anything uh, about that when we scouted? Huh? Like, any clashes or such? No, due to the fact that the war was just beginning at that point. It was okay. being planned out, therefore there were like... You saw some Bastion, Bastion scouting parties, but you just assumed they were Bastion protecting the seas. Not really going for any, uh, for any offensive missions. Okay. I I received word, Mr. Firelord, you must brace yourself, please. I do not want you to be angry. I think Cinders got captured. That just adds more troubles to my list. I will make this meeting quick, then. Silver Flame, I am not asking, I am giving you an option. Do you wish to stop your old teacher, Mior, from wrecking havoc and let all of those lives that are on those boats go home safely? Or do you want to do nothing and watch the lives of thousands be taken away for each verge that has been taken by those Bastion members? I feel that was a question, but you already know the answer. Good. I 
Anyway, we were uh, we were just heading out, so um, <laughs> you know. And where are you walking off to? Nowhere. Not God lying, damn it! You're so shit at lying. It's not a lie. We're Perception not walking checks, anywhere. <laughs> Perception. Okay. Remy, please. I mean, you can ask. Eat him for once. Okay, that's enough. You can talk to. Ash, if you want, he's kind of the... He's taking the navigational he just, point. He just gets up in front of you. He's like, how tall is Elian? 5'3". <laughs> <Five, three. laughs> he, he is towering. He is towering over you at approximately 6'8". Oh, oh, he yes. looks down at you. And he just goes... Don't play coy with me. Little Exalt, where are you going? Uh, um, what did I notice? He has five weapons strewn across his back. Oh god. <laughs> well, that's not over. Oh god. That's I have a question. Mm -hmm. Does Arya react? Arya is silent. Oh. Does any part of me react to the wings? Like, do I want to touch them or anything at all? No, you want to get as far away as possible. You do not like okay. that he has five of the eight weapons. Or five of the ten. Seven. Five. Five of the seven. We're working on the mission that we have always been working on. I mean, you were at the meeting, you know what we're up against. We haven't deviated from that course. Oh. Yeah. And uh, it appears that Amber have attacked you as well, yes? That's what you said at the meeting? I have made preparations to fight that, and I've saved my people from the rain. Hopefully you don't get caught in it too. Threat is still within the heart of Adela, which is why we're heading there. Hmm. Very well. I hope you all have a fun journey. And he gives this very, like, sinister, just constant small laugh. Look. Oh, Nikki. Yeah, fun. Oh, 12 rep? I thought it was seven. There, there's 12 of them. Yeah, I, I, I made a mistake. I can, I, I only, I counted the right and left as just one weapon in the notes because I, I'm stupid. No, oh, I thought the, why did I think it was seven? It might have been seven mm -hmm. in the past. I think it was. Mm -hmm. it yeah, I didn't say have... seven. Before. They added five in the patch. <laughs> true. Yeah, true. The, pa the patch notes keep getting updated all the fucking they, time. The DLC. They, they, they added, they, yeah, they had a new DLC. They realized that uh, the the player character Nishi was actually like speed running, and they had to patch out more. Yep. They're like, <laughs> this guy is too powerful. Yeah, he's getting too yeah. much. Yeah, in the author timeline though, he has fifty. So you know. It's true. <laughs> you have made a lot of new friends, little buddy. Don't get yourself killed by trusting everybody. I'd rather do that myself. Uh, I don't <laughs> think you really want to do that, but you know. Anyway, uh, if we could just kindly ask that we not get blown up while we're making our way to where we're going, um, we'd really appreciate that. I think you should try to stop the Bastion first, but that is your own matter. Does it come to mind that I would know the names of everyone here? Or, but um, like, all Phoenix members? Uh, you, I'm pretty sure you know that Kathy fucking hates your guts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you know these three. Mm -hmm. yeah, this one's irrelevant Remy. to you. This yep, one's irrelevant Remy, to you. Lisa, doesn't Wait, matter. Didn't no, you didn't speak at the meeting of Titans. Yeah, you yeah, have still irrelevant. Damn, she doesn't Andy. matter. Damn, I can't believe he's rice gum. 
Yeah. <laughs> Rista, had, Rista had more to say at that meeting than any of the Silver Flame did. Yep. Bro. Rista, Rista is just Jade. Nobody cares about Jade. <laughs> oh, Not, yet. Not yet. <laughs> nah, just wait till the next update. Okay. <laughs> we had we had five more. <laughs> yep, we'll add oh, seven dear. more colors. Uh, One's only being checking your horns, I see. Every day I get closer to solving all of our problems. Is that really what you think will happen? Maybe the Phoenix will finally be free. Hmm. Can I roll insight on Nishi? And I want to see if he genuinely thinks that's the answer to all of our problems. Yeah, sure. Inside of God. Five heads. The old mm -hmm. Warcraft way of self. Inside of God. You are that's, saying. That's the 20. <laughs> Alright, Yolo. Tell her, uh, tell Dart as much as you want. You can tell that he thinks that this is the answer for all of his problems, but you do not understand what he is going to do with this. You know what the weapons do. You can't get a glimpse of what he is going to do. Now, little peasant, do you wish... Taller than you, by the way, I'd like to point out. It's even in your new form, is she? Oh my god, you, uh, you shut your mouth. You don't want You don't want to <laughs> say that. Do you wish to disregard your diamonds, orders? Of and course see not. How well you do against a god. Well, I'm I'm very certain you would take me in combat any day of the week. Thank oh my god. god. <laughs> You're a lot stronger willed than I expected you to be. That does make me happy. I'm proud of our phoenix. And Panzer DM. Yep. Precisely. Okay. Uh. Mm, I'd leave that up to you. There's <laughs> not nothing much on my end that I that you need to address. It's only just if anything else you want to address mm -hmm. as your character. Because they've already agreed to stop it. Then that's good. <sighs> you came here what you wanted to do. You're a busy man, you know? Yeah, I got people to kill. M M True. Uh, Suzerain, I, I will try and figure out where Cinder's location is. Um, Thank you. I, I, if we can I'm, find it, I'll save her myself. I managed to connect with Ramblebush, if you know what that is. <laughs> So that's... that is the place where our, my little pupil walked off to. If you could get that done, I'd like if you could send some of the civilians here there. Make yep. sure they're safe and away from this war. Yes, sir. Um, we're also trying to bolster defenses here as if, if, if attacks ever come to the Daimyo estate. You can tell that Ina is clearly nervous. Uh, they are sweating profusely, and uh, they look terrified. Be clearly, I, I, yeah, I do yes. not need to harm you. Yes, uh, yes, um, Suzerain. I will, I will try to connect with Hana again, and... Just, just call me Nishi. Y yes, Nishi. Um, I, 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 I believe that... Um. Come on, Anna. Use your words. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay. Um. What's up, Dream? Um. I don't believe the I believe the Bastion will be having to attack us because we are allies of the Zealots and the Hartex still. So I believe this would be a safe place for civilians as any. Kazuki. Yep. I love to see it. 
I shall think about it if your promise is true that you don't intend to harm anyone. I didn't even in the Phoenix. I don't exactly trust you. But it ends to the mean. Oh, I'd rather trust me than Gabriella. <laughs> The next time Gabriella steps foot anywhere, I'll kill her. Kazuki! <laughs> and he stares Kazuki down as he yes. just calls her. Nothing. What's, <laughs> what does Kazuki look like? Oh, he's an eight foot tall Goliath. Half no, five. like, uh. Oh, what he looks like? Yeah. Uh, like he has a hand on his. Um, it's basically, he's got a one meter long great sword, which he's just kind of getting with. He's oh, he's basically got his hand on it permanently, just in case. He looks very aggressive towards Nishi specifically. If you wish to get your anger out, I suggest you do it now. Kazuki looks towards me all. Kind of raises an eyebrow. Such a puny thing cannot even harm a god. Whatever you want to say. Nishi, if he talks, will you kill him or will you just. I just want to see how powerful my men are. Hit me. Alright, go ahead. Ah, uh, fuck, really? God damn it! Fuck you, Mio! Kazuki wants to do it, but I don't want to do it. Okay, Kazuki's going to. Have fun, Remy's going back to um, can, you send me, can you send me his old sheet? I need to calculate his new stuff. Uh, so I, I can do that. I, I can tell you all of the changes he gets, because. Is this. It, this so you like it level is, 15? Okay. Mm -hmm. it's like, so from your yeah. I will I will <laughs> tell you right whatever whatever additions you have to roll, his his armor class is twenty-one. So yep. try to hit that. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay, will... one. <laughs> Missing. Uh okay, so start, uh, I'll just do this. This is just flare flavor thing. He takes a step he takes a step back, puts a foot behind him, uh, activates souls of fire to launch himself towards him, like in a fireball sort of thing. I pulled out the Fable Mender. Um, gotta get that sword fucking broken, man. <laughs> I mean, the problem is. is gone. Use the favorite angel to rewrite the story. We rewrite the shotgun. Fable Mender. 21. Hits. That does hit. That hits. Uh, you deal just 13 damage. The 13 damage, yeah. Because he's immune to fire and also immune to magical fire. Yeah, he, uh, he, he just, just, just dashes it and just as, slash it down. As you dash forward in a blinding streak of light, Nishi calculates where you're going to end up and brings up his forearm as it crashes against the Fable Mender and it breaks in two. <laughs> Remy just face bombs. That's, that's his armor. It's weird. He, his, how heavy his armor was. He shouldn't have reacted that quickly. Either his reaction time is on a godly level, or something. There's illusion-based magic at play. You're not sure. Uh, how close? How like how how close am I? To, am I like literally have a, have my broken sword in his, like on his armor still? Yes, you're doing like the anime thing where you're trying to wriggle okay. through, and the sword is caught in the forearm. If if this matters in any way, and this is specifically for ne uh, for Mercy in the chat, his armor weighs 180 pounds. Jesus Christ! Well, I can fucking Kazuki can dead. Hey, Mercy. <laughs> uh, Kazuki is going to attempt to use his longest his his arm to wrap it around Nishi's back. Take one of the swords from Nishi's back. And push it into his back. Oh no! Oh, come on. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna. For I, that? I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna punch him and push him 15 feet away. <laughs> okay. I need, <laughs> you, I need you to make. Uh, both of you make contested strength checks. 
Is it athletic to win strength drag? Because I, I, I was thinking if I could take my turn, because I wanted to flex on him for a second. Uh, <laughs> I'd let I'd you, yeah, I, I, as, as he attempts to grab for your weapon, I'll let you take your turn. Okay. Okay, do you want, okay, so, uh, be warned, Nishi's a cleric. So I'm going to use my channel divinity to give myself plus 10 to attack. My normal attacking modifier is plus 11. So naturally, without rolling, I have a 21. What's your armor class? 18, but I can raise shields. <laughs> what does that equal it to? 23. I have shields. 23. <laughs> hey, he can't roll a 1, guys. He, he could He could. One. He could have crit me as well, which would be funny. Crit him, crit him, crit, crit him! Do it! Uh, do it! Do it. <laughs> I've been wanting to slide him! Come on! Also, I, I will send you your. I, I don't know if you still had it, but I will send you your other stuff. Mm hmm. Can I think probably at least. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, let see. Get the 36 uh, bit. Sure, that's it. So Nishi, as you realize that he is going. Like, you see the first attack just slices into his armor and your sword breaks and as you attempt to reach for his back he give he obviously gives you like the uh finger wag as he's just like yeah no don't touch those and he just socks you straight in the face as his fist ignites in fire as it connects to your face you're sent flying through the wall embedding into this rock By the light. <laughs> would you like me to roll damage <laughs> Also remember, because That's of your lower. thing, you get a, your proficiency bonus when you make weapon attacks is doubled. So you have a plus 10, uh, <laughs> a, a, an additional plus 5 to hit, so for 26. So 26. Yes. Yeah, so... So it was a 41 to hit? Mm -hmm. It was. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, this is... Yep. Oh, oh man. Is actually. So I think I a lot of those. Mm-hmm. And now we gotta fix the door. Oh shit, Rar! As, oh, as Dash trans transforms so into a lion and just fucking hides. <laughs> hey Dash! Not, not the right time. Weak. Now I think all my business is solved here. I apologize for your broken toys. As he just like kicks the two ends of the sword. And you... As he kicks, if he kicks an end of the sword, Kazuki's gonna attempt to pull it back to him to stab him through the foot if it comes back. <laughs> <laughs> See, as he weapon bot uses weapon bond to try and literally rip it back to him. Okay. Cool. If it works, it's broken sword. If it if it's broken the magic, it obviously can't weapon bond it. Ooh. And then Nichi is going. Oh. oh. Mm. Roll it's me a magic a... sword. Roll me an attack to hit. Oh god, not again. <laughs> I remember I was, I was 12. Home. It's 12. So. 14 now. Rolled 5. Okay. Yeah. He's just going to start walking away. I have his, a question. His... He just stops. How familiar are you are the history of your land? Do you know who Empress Kiyong is? Me? YOLO? No, I don't. <laughs> so, uh, Empress... Oh, never mind. It, you can... I'll, uh, Mjor is probably gonna explain mm -hmm. it in her exposition. exposition. It's okay. I have read every single history text of the Phoenician I have in my library. The answer is yes, Dart. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say. <laughs> trying. And can you help restore the other Damias to power? That will help your people. Oh. Oh. Uh, I, I think I think your internet's going, Jack. Yeah. I think it's going. You guys hear me? Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Did Discord died weird. three times in Foundry. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when, that was weird. When I remove that bastion bastard head from his torso, I will think about it. 
I will not let harm come to my people. Good day, little birdie. Hmm? I'd appreciate it if you could help us out. We did burn our crops and we are protecting your people. Let me read. You, you shouldn't uh, be asking for more. He's already being as gracious as he can be. Uh. Please, uh, Ni Nishi, she, she's not being serious. You don't have to pay us for anything. <laughs> I'm not like our old Fire Lord. I enjoy stuff like this. And he casts uh, Crate Food and Water to give them like to attempt to counter the uh the amount that okay. the bird burned off magic begins then... to swirl around your hands and you summon five crates of phoenician fire rice <laughs> he just burns more things and suddenly fire crates it's okay and then he starts walking mm -hmm. and then i hmm. that's good that's a sick art piece this is guy right here. I wanted to talk to that guy last session, but we ended before I could. <laughs> no reason to kneel. I always read, I always read that as Min the Max Traveler. I was like, oh, it's Min Max. Fuck. I'm just another Phoenician. Lotari, it'll be all right. I know your wing was clipped. Please. Hmm. We'll grow it together, all right? Hey, boss. I don't fucking like this. Hey, 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 hey boss. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. <laughs> Sad, sadly, I do not have spells that repair limbs. <laughs> that's that's risky. We have a liberal child. Like, yeah. excuse me, I need to, I need to frisk you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, you entered it unannounced. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Um, hello. Excuse me. Right away. And then he. Alright, Emp. Jack, yeah. Jack wants to do something. Yeah, I'm doing shit. Yeah, what I you doing? Ask a question. I'm sneaking out. Alright. <laughs> he isn't letting this opportunity leave, leave him. Alrighty. Do I got a roll or? Uh, no. You're you're a level eight monk. You can scale over the wall. Pretty everyone's kind of everyone's kind of distracted by yeah, yeah. Uh, me. To catch you suiting up. Okay. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> do you need me to? Do you need me to get the music again? Uh, no. You yes, can, please. Uh, no, all right, if you want for like the, the entrance, but this music is, is fine. Yeah, can I? Can I? Uh, can I hear the intro for like five seconds, and then can you switch back? To, uh, can you switch back to my theme? Oh no! Please, Takashi, please don't approach him. Hold on, give me, give me like. Give me like two hours and I'll I'll open my audio mixer and mix both. <laughs> and oh, we can that. Action, boys. All right, let me let me play it real quick. Josh, did the tree quick. get destroyed? Cause Kazuki being a dumbass. Uh, sadly, I do not have access to. Yeah, you gotta take it. Uh, Kevin's like, he did, you know, he cheated, you know? <laughs> he right. cheated. Yeah. He thing a god, that's illegal. I was going easy on him. Yeah, right. yeah, I was, I was holding back. Daichi. You he sense, was wearing weighted clothing. You sense the aura or the key of the phoenix close by. Hmm. All right, he's gonna, he's gonna wait for him to, like, you know, continue on the path to be away from people. And, uh, from the... You know, hidden in the shrubbery in the trees, he's going to let his voice bellow out. Lord of Fire, if you okay. would take pause, this one would like to speak with you. <laughs> hmm. And someone invading my mind again, or is that someone close by? Kill the fuck. Okay. Uh, the I don't the like tricks. Takeshi is gonna step out from the forest, allowing uh, people to fall over and fall around him to make his silhouette confusing to look at. Mm hmm. It's a lot of beetles. That's a lot of beetles. 
beetles are very flammable, though. Oh, he said that's a lot. <laughs> We only wish to ask for a moment of your time, Lord of Fire. Hmm. Very well. We have come to plead. We ask that you do not go through with this war. Should the Bastion and the Phoenix go to war, it will bring ruin, not just for your people, not just for their people, but for all people that call the Veilnum their home. Please, do not go through with this. I have no options left. There is always a choice, young one. You do not need to cause more pain. All can change. As is the way of life. I don't think you understand. I never started this. I'm just ending it. More pain will not make it end easier. It may be harder, it may take longer, but people do not need to die. If I could take on the entire Bastion by myself, I would. There is it much I can change your mind, isn't there? The Shame. problem, the problem is... Like you should notice, there is nothing I can do. They are on my islands. Breaking your, he's gonna cut you off. Your islands, the these people's lands, islands. they belong to you. Is that what you believe? Did they belong to you 100 years ago? For the past hundreds of years, were the lands yours? You wear those garbs, you wear that mask, but you do not know its history. You do not know the traditions or the culture. These lands are not yours, but I do not hate you for that. I merely wish for the pain to end. Traditions. My old master killed thousands because it was fun. What do you mean, those traditions? I mean, those whose garbs you wear now. Uh, does he you actually get close to him? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna grab him. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> You literally just brought this character in, Ath Jack, and you're athletics already getting- Athletics versus your acrobatics. You're the Lord of Fire immediately. Athletics, acrobatics. I'm glad that you have very high acrobatics. Mm-hmm. We can break guy. Ah, you win, yeah. He actually- Surprisingly, he is faster than your on- than your godly reaction time as he mm -hmm. quickly- bats away using using some of the bugs from his armor to block the uh the uh the, the grab hmm you have fireball to your you watch i have more tricks up my sleeve but you're i am not your enemy you. and i am not yours i just rather see the face of the person i'm talking to i I do not like tricks. <laughs> we both wear masks here. <laughs> and my mask has greater pur purpose. We are a symbol. Is that because you don't like the face under it? No. We represent something greater than just the Phoenix and the Bastion. This is the face of the people. We are not with you. We are not against you. We are really the ones in the middle. I see that I cannot get through to you, but in and time, I hope I will bring you all the change. Stop this war from happening. Stop those puny things from hurting my people. It goes both ways, Lord of Fire. One of you must take the first step, either you or them, but that choice is yours to make.
How can you change those who won't budge? From what I know, those people are very hard set on bringing my head. By showing them you've changed, showing them the phoenix can change. If you open your arms in peace, despite the pain you've brought, despite the pain all of you have brought, it will bring change. It may be long, it may be difficult, but please, for everyone's sake, And if that doesn't work... Then we shall reveal ourselves. Hmm. Very well. I'll think of something. But I'm going to save Cinders first. And all I can give you is my thanks for allowing me to speak. You may be on your way. Everyone. And he goes and oh, no, continue. No, he's just gonna go and allow himself to vanish in the woods. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a voice when they're with me. Man, he just kind of walks as he, he continues to walk off. As as he walks over the beetles, his presence alone sets them on fire. Oh no. <laughs> They, All of us. I would think they would they, follow. They'd him. follow him. Probably. They do, but the ones, but they do, but the ones that aren't quick enough just get crushed and then burned to flames. <laughs> oh no, Jimmy, my favorite. All right, Jimmy the Beetle. He, ret he returns to his weighted clothes and climbs back over the fence. You just like, you just like walk over, and he's just like, hmm. Weird. <laughs> it's just a, it's just no, a weird it's, elf. It's, it's literally just. I know you're still there. <laughs> he just continues. All right. Meanwhile, Mr. Mr. Nisi himself. Um, thank you. Thanks, Yolo. Thank you for playing again. Hi. Thank you for this Hi, cameo. Uh, you're yes, awesome yes. as cameo. always. And we'll see you, you tomorrow cool. with uh, with trials. I I the trials are in hole. No, 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 no. no. No, no, I'm, I'm telling you. Yolo. Yolo. Okay. No, hold on. Sure. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let me. Let, let me. Let me TPK. Let me. <laughs> let me get the session. Let me finish what I started. Merlin, you're fucking dying. No. I can. Right. I swear. Be <laughs> shortly. All right. Yeah. Well. Oh, give me one of those for my best. best. Oh, hope you guys liked that. Hope yeah. you guys liked the voice. It was Hopefully sick. he was scary. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Risto's terrified. Cool. <laughs> Remy's just yeah. angry, honestly. Alright, see you guys. I, I'm gonna go uh, back to fighting fighting this cold, and I'm gonna probably take like oh. eight more cough drops. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. Thank you for being with us, you know, man. Hope you feel you know better. How many, you know how many Everyone... cough drops I had to take just to be able to do that for oh. when I woke oh. up? Oh no. <laughs> I took like six. But anyways, y'all have a good right now. There's some water here. Let's all just sit down and let that cool head prevail and take a drink of water and relax, alright? And then I, I vote we just get the fuck out of here before some other unannounced guest shows up, please. Hi. Temp, I have a question. I potentially have an answer. In, in Kazuki getting thrown inside this area into this rock, did the tree get hurt in any way? No. Uh, he got nicked, okay, he got nicked to this side, and... Good. Okay. Otherwise, Remy would have been <laughs> more pissed off. Uh, An angry Christ paladin is not a good paladin. Krista's gonna fix the door, they also fixed Remy's cup, and we're like, ah, oh, man. Things breaking down here constantly because of Kasuki. <laughs> yeah, Remy's just sitting under the tree, shaking, we and should, just vibing. We should make haste. Calming down. Well, before, I want to make sure everyone's okay. We can spend like an hour doing that. Can we go oh, tomorrow? I'm already spent the magical energy fixing stuff after Kazuki broke it. Let's just leave, please. No, are you alright? Who are you referring to me? No. No? I'm, I'm alright, I... 
He's just terrifying. Get used to it. You pay him too much mind, Ina. Uh, right. Uh, are you alright? And she's gonna walk over to Tamara. I'm just. I was just gazing in the uh, in the all of the Fire Lord. Is that all? He's pretty spectacular. <laughs> the rumors were true. What rumors are you referring to? His strength, his power. You see, I don't come from here, so I I, I wanted to see his power for myself. All right. It's remarkable. <laughs> Seemed awfully, he seemed awfully keen to keep me away from those swords, though, which is interesting. Zuki, we know what they are. You'd be, you'd know what they too if you stayed in the meeting. Well, I don't much care for these things. You tell me what to do, and I'll do it. That's a deal. <laughs> All right, cool. Everyone's good. Uh, let's get going. Let's just leave. Uh, All right. What, 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 all right. Uh, where the fuck, Same. Daichi? Where the fuck? God, uh, I take my eyes off him for one second. He ran oh. off in that direction, just pointing Wait, in the direction. Daichi's direction he staying wanted. here, isn't he? He didn't say he was coming with us. Uh, yeah. I think we kind of need him Austin, as isn't our he? guide. Isn't that the whole point? What oh, was you oh, you, yes, you want you want to put you want the information broken so the person who lived there for God knows how many years. Yeah. Yeah. What Kazuki was a guide. Yeah, I, I mean, we could, I also thought we could Why trust not? Kazuki, but we Why? saw how that went. So. Why not just have three guides? I know that's a crazy <laughs> thought, but we just have more than one. Yeah, but wow. I mean, yeah, I mean, chuck one of them off to the side. The concept is baffling. <sighs> this wasn't to where he was coming with us, but it's fine. Or even is he? I mean, he mostly is just an old man pretending to be a child and some other stuff, Back but here. I don't know, yeah. I guess. That's actually a good point. Um, how combat capable are you, um, Ash? <laughs> uh, none. Okay. It's okay, you just have to steer the <laughs> ship, don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just make sure I don't get hit by anything and I'll be good. Okay, you know what? Adrian. I regret my option of picking you. Ash, he at least I'm seems just... like a new magic. Adrian. Yeah. you've been with me. Since the beginning, how often does combat find us, no matter how we evade it? Oh, uh, almost definitely, but you, you'll be fine. Almost daily. <laughs> That's why we shouldn't be taking Back any in old day, men. At least five fights a day. I mean, like, we've been a if week here, no fights. If Daishi can handle herself in a fight, then I'll allow it, but I'm not caught in good conscience like a civilian. Alright, well, we can ask him. Um, Mira, we took a literal child with us. I don't. Wait, you can choose what, magic. Okay, <laughs> but, but Mira, take this into consideration. We have Rista, and they're a right. child. I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't mean to, I don't mean to like say, it's different. but like, I don't know if we could really say that we have morals on who we bring along with us. With the with is I, different. She has magic, she, and she wanted to come. Are are they? I'm a. With with the, how do you feel about it? Uh. Um, uh, um, uh, put him on the spot here. <laughs> I am honestly baffled you let me into the group so quickly. This I'm is really yeah, it's kind of just what we do, Mior. I think could be a hero. I just want to make sure if we go to the Bastion and, you know, Fire Lord and everything, that he can actually hold up a fight. But we were just asking yeah. when he appears, wherever he does. I mean, I can't really fight that well. <laughs> I'm mostly just a support person, I feel like, fixing no, no, you guys up. No, no, that's fine. We need a support. Alright, uh, and suddenly, you... two pixies kind of swirl down to hey. you, Mjord. Oh. Pixie. One, and where the hell is the other? Uh, oh, probably in the letters. Uh, I don't know where the second one is. Where's the 
Where's the second one? Was there no second one? Uh, there, there was there was a first one. That that's the second. No 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 no, 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 no. That's what I have to give you. Is. Oh, there's two. <laughs> there's two from Diamond. I thought there was an. Oh man, what the freak? <laughs> what the frick? Man, just kiss already. Come on. There you go. Take your fucking letters. Grr. Can he come in the campaign before I can do that? <laughs> pen pals. <laughs> this is a pen pal moment. All right. So uh, you can read yeah. that. You can read that as you guys get onto the airship. Speaking of. Oh, airship time! Let's let's see the cool map, guys, that I made, right? Yeah. Dude, there you are. Oh, where did you pop up from? Oh, cool. Hey, we're leaving. Uh, Daishi, can you hand yourself in a fight? I uh, uh, no, not well. Okay, you're I'm gonna gonna with me, then. I want to. Actually, I'm gonna make a martial check on Daishi. Is he? Can he handle himself? In the seventeenth level. The one time I good on uh, anyone can handle themselves in a fight. How well they can handle themselves in a fight? That's a different question. Well, can he? Can I like yeah. gauge? I know it would probably be hard. Yeah. She can I like? Cool. Can I like? I don't know. Counter with? I don't know. Deception. Or Give some me a deception shit. check. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, if if he's Phoenician. Uh, Remy, you'd know that he's at least combat capable to some degree. You're not sure well, what degree that is. You're, you're Phoenician, right? They typically train all of you, from I'll, what I understand. Well, you have I'll to have some sort of combat capabilities. Well, yeah. I can I can use a, a quarter staff, but... Uh, ooh, ooh, I'll, I'll, ask a, I'll ask a second question. How good are you at not getting killed? Oh, I'm really good at that. I mean, I got here in the first place. All right, good enough. Yeah, Get on the airship. Ooh, ooh. Dude, Let's go. Fight, fight Kasuki! Fight Kasuki! He, need, he needs to fight somebody to feel better. <laughs> he needs to fight someone more his level. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, okay, Daichi, listen. He'll help his confidence. His feeling, his uh, confidence has been uh, hurt by the fact that he couldn't do anything. Chris, uh, <laughs> no. Remy <laughs>, laughs. <laughs> Just, uh, just, uh, put up a fight, it'll be fine. Oh. Hey, Wister, there's a wound of teleportation here. Yeah, we, that's what we set up. No, no, no in the letter, look. The Duel's gonna show Wister the wound of teleportation and the wound of scrying. Oh, oh. neat. Yeah. I don't know what that, that means, but okay. My mother, my mother used to make those. Uh, um, can you um, explain to Wister what the runes of teleportation and runes of squaring do? Because so, I don't know what runes are. Uh, the runes of teleportation are runes that you can place down similar to the one that you have in the in this. But instead of tele teleporting you somewhere to the material plane, it teleports you to another plane that you have at least been to, to the point where you know what it is and what it looks like. So for you guys, that's I don't think any really apply except for the water plane. Uh, and then the rune of scrying is a rune that affects like a whole building like the outline of a building and it protects it from scrying and other other detection spells so essentially okay. it puts the whole building under a non-detection so spell okay so it's not a scrying but it's a anti-scrying yes rune. yeah okay okay so the rune of teleportation any plane would that count uh, uh the plane we visited just a couple of sessions ago when we saw the string bear because uh, that is a different plane Top it is, but you haven't been there enough to anchor it to the runes. I can take um, the runes Evan, the plane. We can see how hey, that turns hold on, out. Hold on, hold <laughs> on. Uh, let's let's make the entire campaign very easy. Alia use it to go to Mount Celeste. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. That's so cheaty. Come on, okay. Yes. She can. Also, there, also, there's other things we have to do at Mount Celeste. Even okay. So, could you give Funny give me off. the items then? I guess. Uh, they're for this. They're not items more than they're runic patterns. Yeah, but that's still something that I need as an item, so I know what they actually do and what I should yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, them. let me let me get them for you. So you make some things so that I have the specific wordings yeah. of them. In my iron hole notes. Hey, uh, Elian, we should probably put this on you, right? What? Yeah, anti-squire. 
I mean, uh, the fact that I the, you... the fact that I let uh, Thymon write the stuff down means that that was an option that you could do. What? Why is why is scrying on why why me? Because you're an expert, right? I'm glad the, you guys called like, that so quickly. The, the 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 enemy is kind of like you know, looking for you at all times to kill you. Have you probably through the amber plane. Kind of kind of drawing on a paper fix that. Yes. It's magic. Okay. I feel like that's not true, but fuck it. Why not? Uh, also, Aria, could you use this wound to teleport to Mam Celeste? Hmm. I don't know if it would teleport me directly to Mount Celeste, but it could teleport me to where we need to go for the trials. Right, sweet. <laughs> I was going to say, surely teleporting into a godly domain is a bad idea. Maybe it's a Which bad idea if you're evil. <laughs> Let me go to Ren. Probably just go on through the cheaty route and what? actually have it the rest of our season. <laughs> as as we're as <laughs> we're uh, as we're getting on the airship, um, Ellie, I'm just gonna like take Daichi aside. Like, so listen, I'll um, you seem like you're at least decently trustable, at least by our standards. Um, <laughs> Which are not. So yeah, I, sure. I, I'll fill you in on the details of what we're actually doing. I just need you to know that um, if you want off the ride, this would be it. Otherwise, you're kind of stuck with this. I mean, I can push him out of it and hope. It, it, it's a private conversation, Kazuki. Thank you very much. <laughs> and it's a metaphor. <laughs> Daichi, just, Daichi just beams at, beams towards him with like his, with his smile. I'm gonna stick with you all till the end, young one. Oh, walk neat. Into okay. The I'll, young okay. One. I'll, I'll walk with him and I'll cast exposition at whatever level it would take to get him up to speed on the amber shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So, so, um, how yes. much would Rista actually know about runes? How common are they? That for somebody who is magically like they're tutored by somebody who was really into magic and used a lot of magic. They mm -hmm. had like. They went to school for magic and all that, while also yeah. going to school for being a doctor. So, runes are a completely different type of magic compared to the traditional arcana that you that you study. Maybe you took like runic lessons one, which was like the basic Ooh. course. Uh, but runic magic ties directly into the elements of the world. It requires elements like bending, avatar bending to use, and it is the bridging gap between geomancy which is that similar avatar bending to the traditional arcana that we have today with spell books spell focuses uh giant teleportation circles carvings all that shit comes from runic magic which comes from geomancy so that's like kind of how magic developed in the world okay so how much would Rista know about it with the tutoring um, that they were given by because i'm going to guess their master who was trying to just you know learn about all types of magic would teach them about it then uh you'd know basic knowledge but main you probably mainly focused on traditional arcana like you maybe okay. took like an intro course and like a random course on runic magic but uh other than that you don't know in okay would i know how to use these then yeah i would say you could put two to two together your intelligence is very high and also yeah, there are 20. instructions on the notes as well okay so Okay, so I mean, this only works in structures. It says so. Yep. You have to uh, uh, you have to anchor it to a location. Okay, so yeah, uh, mirror that wouldn't work on Alien unless it. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, should I you just... figure it out? But you're spending a while doing it. Uh, this looks hey. like okay. Well, uh. Krista, hey. we gotta go. Yeah, but I'm gonna put this on the building, cause unless you consider yourself a building, Elian, I can't put it on you. Cool. You, no. Nope. You consider yourself a building? Not even a little bit. Go ahead and tape that on the wall. <laughs> tape. <laughs> okay, she's gonna take out some duct tape and tape I cast this on the, the tape wall. spell. That's yes. that's Elian's understanding of magic, is if you have a rune, you just put scotch tape on the wall and it works. Okay, where would be the appropriate place to put this? Would it need to be somewhere safe so in, it can't get scratched? Usually in the center Probably. of a usually in the center of a building. 
<laughs> okay, she's going to be like, he's going to be like, ah, oh, man, they're leaving me to do all this, huh? And hey. she's going to go in. Uh, hey, what's uh, up? Hey, Mior. Um, uh, they keep. Yeah. Telling... Okay, who's opening and locking the doors? I'm trying to open them, and then I'm they get sorry, locked. I'm sorry, it was my mate hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am his mate. <laughs> okay, this this is like almost the middle. <laughs> yeah, good enough. Uh, are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. What about the spirits? Uh, are they are they okay? You know, I don't really know. Um, they just kind of exist. Like, I can, I can talk to them, which is weird. Considering, uh, yeah. It's okay. weird. I'm so sorry for the part I had to play in this. Even if it, none of it was my full time. They fought anyway. I hold no ill will. These things sadly happen. The world will always have tragedy. And there will always be... There will always be death. And I guess this is why stuff like this happen. Because with death comes life, or something. I don't know, I'm like six, why am I talking like this? <laughs> I am probably smarter because of spirits, but is any of the spirits um, a total? Huh? Uh, one of them? Any of the spirits are total? Actually, a lot of them are. Ooh, lots of baby spirits. Uh, Mio's gonna like close her eyes, use bl and use blind sight in the cupboard to answer. Similar to the art, you can see that there are a lot of spirits just kind of circulating around Aoi. Does she recognize any of them? It's hard to recognize them, mainly just because they're faces. Turtles kind of look very similar to one <gasps> another. Um, Racist. I mean, <laughs> eh, shut the fuck up. Uh, it, it's it's hard to it, it's hard to differentiate between turtle to turtle, but there are a couple of them. Out of the out of the the twenty that are there, maybe like eight or nine of them are turtles. Uh, you know, just gonna like, all right, um. Before I lose my courage, and she's just gonna walk up. She's gonna give I a big hug. Snap his neck and leaves me. Um, no, you don't have a guardian, but I'd go look towards Dash or the dancer. I think that scares me. Why does this get? Uh, uh, yeah, I can, I can see that. <laughs> he <laughs> keeps, <laughs> he keeps. Oh, no, I'm not making that joke. Uh, don't, don't even end. I'm just to about to stop. I don't know where that was going, but I was definitely a good God choice not what? to go there. <laughs> <laughs> By the gods. It's okay. Uh, He's maybe just, just your Discord moderator. Maybe just um, Jana instead, or the blacksmith. Look to them, okay? Or you could go and join mm. Liam. Liam's a good, good folk. Who? Um, the the orc who appeared and then went south. Who? I don't know it's who that is, and I don't feel I like I I don't want to traverse the wilderness by myself. I think I'm worry. I think I'm gonna stay here and maybe um uh uh uh. uh, 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 uh um, do you know who Grima is? Who? 
Kima, can you help this lost one? Right, can I make a faith check? Sure. That would be a 1d20 plus 1d20 plus 4. Coming right up. Uh, it's uh, not a valid check command. Slash roll 1d20 plus 4. You can also just click the d20 on the sidebar. Yeah, but that doesn't do the math for you. <laughs> True. It still says it's not valid. You might need to restart Foundry, uh, Dart. Right. There, there we go. 16. Uh, I'm gonna add 1d6 to that. Cause All right, actually, you're running no, out of d- you're, you're running- you're running out- you're running out you're of your d6s. You're running out of d6s! We need those! I mean, those. we have them every time we spend a long with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just three <laughs> this session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, but- Okay, never mind, I'm fair. No, 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 it's fine. They will refresh while you're out in the airship, but you what? can't just keep spamming them when, uh, like, they'll, they'll refresh again because you're taking a quote-unquote long rest. But coming forward, they won't refresh until you spend a long rest in the manor. Yeah. yeah. I can use one now and it's yeah. fine, but in the future, careful. Yep, just be careful. Okay. Let's roll a six. Half. 19. Yep. Pretty good. You don't. Fuck, I could have rolled a d6 to hit his AC higher. You Hi. don't hear. You don't hear Grima, but you feel. Warmth. Maybe everything will be okay. Mm. I'm no longer sure. Then I'm gonna walk to the airship. He kind of like bangs his head on the table and goes, ding! Oh, <laughs> he keeps invoking all these different magical energies. I'm getting all sorts of readings today. <laughs> he keeps all closing right. his doors. Let's get, get to the airship map. Airship map. Uh, to the airship. I, I just had to like do that one conversation before I leave, you know? Very uh, I need to get you all together. I'm of it. Sure. Stay in line, Kazuki, you dumbass. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I hate God's AC, fuck you. You do not own, known any, own any tokens with vision in this scene. I now own a token with vision in this scene. I gotta there reset our foundry. <laughs> Shit. Um, All right. No, no, here's under pancake. So this is the map. Welcome to the airship map. This is uh, this nice. is a hard oak. This is a hard oak class airship. Meaning that it is an airship from the Hard Oak. Mm. Okay. Mm. Does Rista okay. know about those because they're from yes. the Hard Oak? Yes. It's Some a very it's there. a very common transportation method um, that is very fast and also very high tech for the area. Um, some things to know that Rista would know. Uh, these are the Terran gems that are needed to control the clouds. What they do is they they kind of circulate like a fan. They circulate in a in a uh, counterclockwise motion, absorbing any fans that come in, kind of like keeping it like a loop. And then that powers the gems, which in course make the ship light. And the current up under it keeps it up. If that makes any sense. Um, and what 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 the uh, what the pilot does is the pilot actually can move the move the steering wheel here 360 uh, in a 360 direction and that will determine which way they go so they can move it up move it up to move up move it down to move it down move it to the left to go to the left all that kind of stuff do the so, touch slide um <laughs> and additionally these uh these kind of like white sparkles are sparkles that kind of how do i explain it um because I had an effect for it. Make it so our heads don't implode. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, they they are what uh, they are what protect you against the altitude changes. It's like pressure. Imagine, need, imagine needing that. Particles sure. of pressure. So uh, this this way is this way is how you get into the lower deck. There's an immediate staircase going down, and it leads down here. I guess there's a like a small room here and a small ladder that goes down this way. And there are all your beds, master bed, and cooking area. A badass map. Yep. Do we have an AT? Uh, uh, also, have um, 
one more thing there is a latch here uh that you can go down and it makes a small little artillery room and in this in this little statue there is an earthbind cannon or earthbind Ooh. artillery so it fires off Thanks. an earthbind spell towards a target within the earthbind's reach and it causes them to fall uh, but we all would have oh. kept the tea for the people of the dumb air instead of just Remy. she didn't sad. put tea in the pit. so for example it's it's a defense mechanism primarily used against harpies which prey on on airships because they're usually lightly defended and they're usually not heavily defended because the heavier the cannons the more they're weighed down so in this case <laughs> um they can th this one can move anywhere from like this front range so a, a cone basically in yes. any direction there okay yep in the event that there is ma in the event that there is a combat on this map which i will probably expand to have it like include somewhere off in the fog mm -hmm. yeah that is that is if you have any other questions feel free to ask but this map is active and you will be spending a handful of days making your way to the hard oak or to the heart of adala what do the gems taste like? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. I, he's not actually looking no. at it. No, I'm not doing that. No, you did this yeah. in my campaign, you bastard. I can actually <laughs> answer the question if you want. I mean, Elian's not going to lick it, but I, I would like Thank to. Pancake is. They taste like <laughs> cotton candy. But, Elian, um, do not. But, El but uh, Elian, El Elian, I can read your mind. Uh, I saw the timelines. Uh, you want to lick them? Don't. I don't. Get <laughs> I don't want to lick them. I just want to know what would happen if I did. Cotton oh, candy, like my, cotton it candy like, minus the uh, the flavoring from candy. So yeah, sugar. it tastes like cotton yes. candy. This sugar, basically. Uh, I've got uh, a question, Em. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my weapon is now a one d four, correct? Because it's an improvised weapon. Uh, your weapon will deal half damage now. Okay. All so damage uh, until you get it repaired, which means. Yeah. Uh, You'll have to either go to a blacksmith for it or attempt to repair it yourself. And if you if you fail, you can break your weapon even further. Yeah, Rista, Rista offered to fix it, but he's stubborn. Not like a baby. Right, not like uh, a baby fix a big man. I gotta answer a call, so feel free to roleplay and I'll just zoom out. Oh dear, this is another new experience. <laughs> oh yes. These what? are very common in the hard Um yeah. I, I use them all the time. Been on couple of ships have been on your ship, but it's never an airship. This will be interesting. Mm -hmm. We found um, drop these ships and drop them on civilians. That oh, is well, uh, that's not very nice. No, they weren't able to do that, actually. it's They they only developed the war balloon tech like this year. So it's not true. What do you, mm. what do you mean? We lit... We... Wait, the, fir the first invasion on the Dove Day, they were, you didn't, the reason you lost was because you didn't have war balloons. We reason... literally dropped Hayden on t into uh, the middle of the... Yes, Jack. Uh, How do you know that? Yeah. I think we're getting into the sky as we're speaking. Because Kazaki will still remember the Kunda at that point. Then that was this Dove Day, which was this year. Yes, like I said, we we chuck we can chuck people off, you know, especially if they're suicide people. Like uh. Anyway, that's uh, not important right now. Let's not that's do that, point. please. So, yes, so so the conversation is about the Heart Oak, not the Crimson Phoenix, Kazuki. Very well, talk about you wish. It I'll... seems you that's all you talk about, Kazuki, other than training. I don't know much else outside of the Crimson Phoenix, in case you haven't realized. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to take a look at the weapon? No, I am fine, Risco. Thank you. You could break uh, it further, you know. I could. Oh, okay. All right, Kazuki, I just... You're kind of only here because you can swing a sword and hit things with it. So I'd really appreciate if you'd let Rista fix it, so you're uh, I'm, actually. I'm not. Uh, I'm more of a grappler than a sword wielder. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna fix it anymore. He That's had his fair. chance. I don't think Rista could fix it anyway. It's beyond the level of skill. Anyway, I, anyway. I have faith in them. I literally have seen you accomplish nothing. Uh, are you okay, Antashi? I actually wanted to talk to you. Oh yeah, this is exciting. We're so high up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So what everyone needs to be aware of is the altitude changes are going to be very different. So t the best thing to do is sort of to hold your breath. And when Ash says go up, um, just go grab anything you can. And it's going to be a little difficult, especially for your first time. Wonderful. Uh, also, if anybody falls off, uh, yell out as fast as you can. I'll try and catch you. But uh, you're probably going to plummet to your death if you do. Which is not a comforting uh, thought, but it is the reality of being on an airship. Uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't sit so close to the edge yeah, I'm then. I'm just going to sit squarely yeah. in the middle. Uh, uh, no, so, side note, uh, Rista is not... If Kasuki falls off, Rista will turn a slight blind eye, but also doctors, they would try and help him because of their being It's nice. a weird duality where we, care, we have to care They have a moral obligation point. to not let people die. Oh, he does have a fall? That's okay. a long he's fall. Uti the utility master. Yeah, but um, does, can he fly, though? Can he get he back up? I mean, if I get we, back up, I'm, we I'm would lose him. If you fall, you're not getting back up. It's the so he's a, uh, technically, Kazuki, uh, if he stops falling, he literally he can feather for himself, grab a rope, and then just lasso himself back up. He has the, he ha definitely has the athletics to do it. Yep, that's more dexterity to grab onto a rope when you're falling, you know? <laughs> Oh, he's also proficient in acrobatics. So okay, well that's fine then. He he'll live, I hope. He's good at he's good at he's good at everything that is on the mental. I think I'm just going to. But go yeah, if he somewhere. falls off, he's not get, getting back up. Is what I'm saying. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rista, do you know if it's safe to stand next to crystals? Safe enough. They don't do anything bad, really. I'm not going to. I'm not going to inhale something and then, you know get a little and they kind of do the twirling motion at their head uh you'd have to wait to say, for the dm to return for my, to my specific answer but really i believe to figure out if they're gonna get high off of this if they stand too close to it <laughs> <laughs> again you'll have to wait until the dm returns i can correct me on this but i believe there's no ill side effects from being close to the gems i'm just, I'm just going to sit here then <laughs> yeah or well, well, you can sit under you could you could also you know if you if you feel like it's kind of dangerous to be up here you could go inside and sit inside it's a lot oh, less I dangerous. Oh I know it's it's fine I might as well get used to it up here. Okay, but if yes, I do feel more... sick or anything I'll go down. Okay, if no, you feel sick... I think about it, Elian will probably be fine because he's on the water plane. Yeah, yeah. he's he's used to pressure changes. I mean there is no pressure in the water plane because there's no air. Well, he's not from the water plane. He's from the underwater city. Oh yeah, the yeah. underwater city. Yeah. yeah. So again, if if something the bad help. does happen, yell out as loud as you can. I'll try and catch you. I'll let you know, but if it's Kazuki, I'm inclined not to. Uh, I mean, even then, we probably shouldn't let him fall. He's a big guy, but I think a fall from this altitude just looks over like nonchalant. It would definitely kill them. Uh, most I likely, suppose. yes. Still. It's also a great way to assassinate people. <laughs> he's going to he's we going to see somebody. We have, have a lower athletic school than you do. He's going to see some bastion I'm... soldier or something on the ground and be like, "I'm gonna kill them and just jump off." I just <laughs> yeet, I just heat Henry down at them as a protector. He he blinks back up and then exactly. he tries to throw him again we, 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 and he blinks we, back up. Oh, yeah, we can. Kasuke keeps trying to throw Henry off, but he just blinks back up to the ship. Remy just kind of looks down at their hands. I think I need to pray a little and uh, hand? get my hand. Thank you for catching me on that. I think I need to uh, reflect a little, maybe pray to the Lord Light because I'm not in good control of myself at the moment. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe do that inside. Mm. Just in case something happens while you're trying to pray and get disturbed, you know? Eh, it should here. be fine. Okay. It's there. relatively peaceful up here. Yeah. Bruce is just going to go up and stand here. Not wait the for the DM for that part, because I have something to do with Remy. Alright. What's Daichi and Mior up to? Alright. So, how are you finding things, Daichi? This must be quite different than your other environment. Oh yeah, it's all been really exciting, but, you know, you just gotta keep going with what light, where life takes you. Mm -hmm. 
and you seem to be really wanted to um head with us to um you know save the world, I guess, right? Yeah, you know, doing the right thing and all. Hmm? Um, but uh, you are aware that every situation Ellen described, with fighting the Ember depraved, they um they're more dangerous than the Cinder Knights. I understand that, Captain. <laughs> yes, but you also said and anyone can be a hero, but you do need training. So, I do know some martial arts from Silwyn and Titan, but they're not really too proficient, but I can help train you if you'd like. Um, I, I, I'm not much, uh, much of a fighter, Mior. <laughs> I'm... Yes, but if you want to help, if you want to be a hero, you're going to have to learn, learn survival at least. I understand. I, I I just feel safer, you know? Like, Ashy can handle himself, but... You, you seem to, like, look weak. Weaker than you should. Well... Not everyone is built for combat. And that's okay. Yeah. It's just... I, I don't know. It's on hand. Anyone... It's difficult because every more than single one time. Be a hero, miss. I, I know, but every single time I've tried to beat the black, it, you know, it always goes shit. Uh, Dark, can you repeat that? Every single time I, you know, try to dip to be diplomatic, no one ever wants to talk. It's just, uh, ironically, the only one who's actually stood down. <sighs> I understand. But mm. if we don't try, if we allow them to just tear themselves apart, <sighs> it isn't easy. But people can be made to change, Muir. We can talk to them. I, I thought that way, but then look what Doe did. He, he was changing her, but he just didn't. Elian told me a bit about this doe, and <sighs> you shouldn't hate him. From what he said, he's in a lot of pain, and trauma can twist people. If you see him again, I believe you should try to help him. Give him what no one else in this world would ever give him. That is what I believe. <sighs> but no, I did not what? want to click that. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but I still, I think that. But I also think he should still go to jail. He committed the one of the greatest crimes he can. No, everyone can be redeemed, but everyone can change. That's the fact of life. But should they? I believe they should. I believe everyone should have a chance, even the Phoenix, even after all they did. There are many people here that are victims, just like the people they have harmed. And we can help them too. We can help them all. I, I just don't know if it's possible anymore. <laughs> Do not let yourself be blinded to the possibilities, Mior. Anyway, um, you gonna tell me what's up with you? Because I know you're not from the Phoenix. I, I'm, I'm not judging. Anyone can be a hero. Anyone can join us. It's as long as you're somewhat capable, can help us. I, it's, I'm really fine with it. But I have to say, if you don't want to, if you're keeping it a secret, but I'd rather just, you know, be honest. Are you trying to help us or you know, that sort of stuff? <laughs> Daichi just starts laughing. Ah. <laughs> uh. How'd you figure it out? Where did I slip up? Oh, you didn't really slip up. I I just have a thing sight for these things. Ah, magic. 
I see. <laughs> he takes off his glasses. Well, <laughs> I'm not your enemy, Mior, if that's what you're worried about. But there's reasons why I act the way I do. In time, hopefully, I'll be able to reveal my true selves to you all. But just know, I'm an ally, I'm a friend, and I just want to make this world a better place. Uh, I've, I've, I'm obligated to our insight. So I know, I think I know the answer, but I'm obligated to, you know? <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Do it. Uh, Is it the truth? Yeah, he's being completely honest. <laughs> Uh, also, how much does does his stance change when he takes the glasses off? When he takes the glasses, suddenly that childish smile becomes like a very mature smirk. It seems like he completely transformed into a different person. Like his mannerisms, his his posture, everything has just changed. Does he look like he he can handle himself in like a oh, fight? Oh yeah, yes he yes he does. Right. I'm sure well. you'll figure it out when I reveal myself, but just know I'm a friend. I, that's honestly, I have I have very low criteria. Just don't murder people. Don't be a dick. That's all I ask of anyone. It's Mior, surprising how many last, people. That is the last thing I desire. Yeah, I know, but to take a life. Be surprised. That is the how many you can do? Yeah. <laughs> Be surprised how many people don't meet that bar. Why do you know? Why do so many people just decide violence is the way? Do you know? Because they're victims. You must see it from both sides, as I do. The Phoenix and Bastion choose to go to war of each other because they are victims to each other. We must help them, nurture them, and teach them. You can only end the cycle of violence through extending your hand in peace. If you want yeah. it to end, more violence cannot be brought. That's extending the olive branch. That's the heart oak family motto, which is why I don't know do why they're in this war. You know, Superton wouldn't stand for it. I, I intend to do what I can and talk to my family and talk them out of it and I know I can try and talk Alistair out of it it would have been easier if though but I know Zealous is a wolf no the old master wouldn't have done this so I don't know what Alice is playing yet but I just don't know what I'll do with Almeric is the cat uh, don't tell the others this they'll get all concerned but he's attacked and killed me before so it's like kind of weird people but are I'm just People are complicated, but we just gotta help them. How? People only change if they want to. Just have to be a guiding light, but some people just want to bury their heads in the sand and... No. I don't have all the answers, kid. <sighs> but what I can tell you is that sometimes life is a long, dark tunnel, but even then, at the end, you'll be in a better place. The most we can do is try, kid. Alright. Uh, I guess you don't need the training then? Or, well, actually, if you want to, it's always wise to actually train and stretch. Could do that in secret if you'd like. It would be nice to have a sparring partner, but trust me, Mior, I've lived many of your lifetimes. I'll be fine. <laughs> I... Do you want to actually? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so you know Wemmy, right? Oh, what are you doing? The the change link, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So they really like fish, right? And I've heard from the Phoenicians that one of the best meals is this thing called a uh, risotto. And I got some fish from um, sea, 
at the port we were at, right, near the shipwrecks. So I was wondering if you could help me make a special meal for them, because they've had a tough tough go of it lately. <laughs> Mior, <laughs> us Hugans have a lot of fish recipes. Risotto's... Risotto's... Fucking rice. Attack. Yeah, risotto is 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 uh is like <laughs> cheese and rice. <laughs> and it's very yeah, well, it's cheese, not rice, Japanese. And fish, right? It's, we got some rice from Nishi. Yeah, but why would it be Phoenician? That would not be Phoenician at all. So, but any some fish... rice and fish dish. I don't know. Stir fry. I'm no <laughs> culture. Fuck it. No, I I I, I could see it being Phoenician. <laughs> it's just fried rice. That's <laughs> It's fried rice with fish. It just, just because it's Italian in our world doesn't mean it's not Phoenician. Well, it's, in this risotto world. is not fried rice. <laughs> anyway. Wow, somebody does not know how to make food. I'm disappointed. Uh, if you're wondering how I got you, by the way, um, this thing could blindsight. Um, apparently, according to Ashy, the fables say that those enlightened can see into others... The outline of other souls. Yours is like a grand story. It's more about emotions and it is like everyone else. Hmm. That's interesting. Thanks for letting me know. I'm a bit scared to look at aliens. I think something will happen if I do that, so I'm not going to. You shouldn't be scared of your own friends. Hey, Elliot, me was gonna look at Elliot with blindsight. <laughs> oh, damn it! Why did you encounter uh, Toad? Well, I just came back to that. <laughs> as he as he steps out, he's gonna return to his his hunch and start being excited and trippy again. Um, while they've been on the airship, Elliot isn't wearing the mask. He just has like the the half mask blind. Well, or, oh, uh, good. Eye patch so... type thing. So he said so that the enemy can see me too. No, no, no. He, he's still wearing like the eye, pat, eye patch, like half mask. He just doesn't have the full blue yeah. cover his entire face mask on. God damn it, Mior. Thankfully, uh, he doesn't have. He thank, me. Thankfully, he doesn't have the eye. But, um. <laughs> you. You see the normal, you see a normal soul that one would have, which is just the normal maroon color. There's no real differentiating factor to it. Other than that, it's a, it's a soul that's been under a lot of pressure from not just the current weight of his power, but also the weight of his past. That's all. Oh, there's no Amber? No. No, because he luckily has his eye covered. Uh, oh, hey, Alien. Uh-huh. Uh, good news. Uh, what? Okay, so when you have your eye covered like that, I didn't see any, there's no Amber. It's like not leaking at all. Remember how Wister said your eye was leaking? Vaguely? That, I didn't realize that was literal. Oh, well, it's like magic. Should, you know you should be, be like, you shouldn't make any assumptions of magic based on your limited knowledge. You know that, right? I don't There's... make assumptions. I just don't understand anything and no one fully ever explains it. <laughs> You're supposed to niece this. What the fuck does my eye is leaking mean? I don't know what that means. Okay, you know how your eye is magic, right? Yeah? So, where do you think the magic goes? I don't know. I... Yeah, well, I have to go somewhere, but either way, I'd say like, keep the eye patch on, because it's probably safer. We didn't... No one, like, a bit braved or anything to see, see us, right? Uh... Uh, uh, no, I don't know what your what? fucking eye does, man. What she's, oh, what, she's no. try what she's trying to say is that the enemy can see through your eye as well, so be careful. Yeah, I think he, he's finally that finally put it together for him. Yeah, you might want to be careful with what you show because 
I'm assuming that they can oh, see it. Oh, that's what the string bear. Oh, you know, one second, you know, one second. He's just going to cover. He's just going to close his eyes for a second. Elian. I love you. Wait. I appreciate you. But you got to stop taking things literally. Sometimes Wait, there's who's... a metaphorical barrier blocking things. Wait, who's saying that? Oh, that's Elia. Oh, hold. Oh, okay, sorry. Hold on. Yeah, I'm. I'm, gonna, I, I'm I, I know how I said. I, I know how I said. Literally, take things at the metaphorical level. But I'm literally just inside Mior, and I'm a part of her soul. So uh, uh, take that on the literal level. There's no metaphorical bullshit to it. I'm just. I, I'm in Mior's soul, which is weird. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should just manifest myself outside more often. It's a little lonely in here. So oh, many things are inside my soul. Hey, El Elian opens his eyes again. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, I was uh, informing some people of that. Uh, hey, Elia, are there any more like demons in there? Or did we defeat the last one? You know, believe it or not. Yeah, believe it or not. Believe what or not? <laughs> There's no one else in there. It's 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 just me, and I'm I'm more than enough for one person. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh, I'm um, Elliot. By the way, um, you should probably read th these letters. Um, do you know want to Yeah, just one of the exalts. You know, oh, she's uh, coming with us to help find her sister. Oh. She would, she, okay, yeah, so the so she'd arrive at some point. All right. Don't know why uh, she wrote a letter. What? She literally just told me that, but that's fine. I mean, the Feynman wanted to make sure, you know, that you actually <laughs> took off. Mod says, yeah, you remember that? How about I don't go there instead? <laughs> How about I just go somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> This is, well, this is what Simon said. Yeah, yeah, so you're I mean, taking it. Yep. Hey. Oh, I. Uh... You're doing good. Mm -hmm. Alien, what sort of fish dishes do you like? Like, what's your f what sort of food? Isn't that cannibalism? I'm not a this fucking so... fish! <laughs> yeah, but you're wait, a sea elf. Wait. Isn't that cannibalism? Is it well, cannibalism for you to eat uh, birds? Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> we don't eat birds from not last. Actually, we do eat doves, but that's more like a symb uh, sim the fuck? symbolism thing. Yeah. Can't you eat tofu? That's the symbolism. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm. Well, I'm yeah. just good. Doves. We do uh, eat doves. Well, doves are like a sign of peace, so we eat it to maintain yeah. peace. That's so bad. Okay, and I eat fish to maintain not starving to death. What do you want from me? Well, I'm just asking. <laughs> is that cannibalism? No! Does he... Alien, Alien, lean, lean close. Why? I want to see if you have gills. If you have gills, you're a fish. Do you see... I don't... Do sea elves have gills, no. or do they just breathe water and air? That's what... Do they have, that's like, what having gills are for. <laughs> no, I know, but, like, are the gills visible on the outside, um, or are they, like, part of their respiratory system? Daichi's gonna pipe up. Sharks are fish, you know? So are what fish. Is, what is this conversation? What is happening? <laughs> Look, <laughs> I, mean, I want to see if you're a fish. I mean, maybe maybe that's a bad thing for the enemy to see. I don't know. I don't know if he has hates fish or something. Okay, I I think. Do, does Elian have? Oh, go to bed. Go to bed. You're confused. Does Elian have gills? Uh, let me look at C L fart. C L I B. I always assumed that they had like. Oh, that's a naked like, elf. Uh, like the gills on their. <laughs> uh, on their like, they have they have webbed fingers and webbed toes, so I'm gonna assume that they do have gills. You have gills. You're a fish. I think I they don't... have them on I mean, this on yeah, their it's waist. Like on their waist, yeah. It's on oh, their. Why the fuck would they have it on their waist? What the fuck? Because that's where your lungs are closer to. No. Wait. Maybe. It's on their waist. Yeah. Waist. Well, it's like it's like right under their pecs. Yeah. Where your lungs are. That stupid slit on the neck. <laughs> How the fuck it's... do you? Oh, oh, you oh, 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 oh! Like on their like where their abs would be, like the side ab. Yeah. 
Yeah. Why didn't you? Why did you say waist? It makes me think they have like. <laughs> it, may, it makes me think they have like gills on their ass cheeks or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, waist was the the wrong word to use. But, but, I mean, I breathe water, so yeah. I mean, that's so you how that are. Works. You're a cannibal, Elian. What the fuck? That doesn't make oh my me God, a fish. I can't believe it. Fuck? I'm not, an elf. Yo, that's a, not how it works. He's a fucking cannibal. That's, that's not how cannibalism <laughs> works at all. Like, I am an You're aquatic creature. You're implying that sharks are cannibals. Yeah. Also, yeah. A fish is not a, a name, a type of... Like, I, I know I'm an idiot. I get that. But even I know that oh, like you're one fish of those pescatarians or some shit that gets really concerned when... No, I'm saying fish is a category of animals and fish eat other fish because there are different types mm. of fish. Just like me or eating... What the fuck is this conversation? Yeah, yeah. I zoned out. Yeah, me too. Oh, lucky, right. lucky for you when I don't like conversations, I can just go back into your soul, but you have to suffer All through right, this I'm, shit. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> go fuck yourselves. <laughs> I love you, I'm going Alien. to go home. I'm going love to go you. home. Sensible mm, conversations. More mm, more kisses. You're all very entertaining. Thank you for that. Hey, would you like to play chicken sometime? Say that again? Would you like to play chicken? It's, uh, it's a game uh, they have in Lumenhood. Oh God, I'd love yeah. to try something new. Hey, come on. Oh, I know the last time we played chicken, Elia. Is that cannibalism because you have wings? Uh, no, <laughs> no. Remember? It was a game of Leavenhood, remember? We we won and we beat um, Sleen Knight and... Th th it was fun. Ew. Sleen Knight? Ew. Ew. Uh, no, remember? It, it was a game where you hop on my shoulders and you go yeah, and try to knock over... Her name just kind of makes me inherently... Try to bomb it. Same. Let's make some new, new memories then. Come on. Let's play chicken. Ah, uh, yes. The memory of when she died. It what? Huh? 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 Uh, what? What? Selena died. No. Yeah, that's a fucking lie. <laughs> I think she's oh. lying in a metaphorical sense, as she's dead to her. No, <laughs> this is metaphorical. This, this guy gets it. Maybe. Ah. Uh, it's both. You know, I, uh, I'm just as smart as he is. <laughs> All right. And on that note. With games of chicken being played, <laughs> contemplations, and a new fucking airship, that is Hell the end yeah. of our session. As yeah, creatures, yeah, we're to be. as creatures we're begin to, to be. hmm? we're supposed to be that close to the mountains. <laughs> Speaking of, oh, oh, fuck! It's a harpy swarm. As uh, oh, as you no. see, a, a a group of harpies begin to form on the horizon. All and right, that, I just now got we're getting there. a fucking world codex treatment. And that's where we're gonna end today's session. Oh, Remy's finally gets to smite something. <laughs> Elliot walks upstairs. Oh god, I'm done with that conversation. Oh fuck! Hey, Time for more Elian, cannibalism. Harpies. <laughs> Elian, do you see in the horizon? Harpies. <sighs> we will see I'm you guys. I'm gonna go down again. We we will see you guys next Saturday for session. 17. Oh, 17. fuck. I put yes. 13 in the fucking. Oh, man. I'm dumb. <laughs> right, we gotta fix it. Session we went 17. back a couple sessions. Oh, the six, we're 16 now. 16. Oh, me. Well, next, next, next time is 17. Oh. Yeah, next time is 17. Titans. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow for session 18? 17? Are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, it's not is above 10. Above the dog temps, I think it's... A number that could be replaced with an X. Because I... we don't, because we do math like that, it's where session, we replace oh, wow. it with an X. Session 18 of Underdark Depths, holy shit, wow. Nice. Whoa.